don't like hear you. Again. I don't hear but, you. No, press play. No. I think about like I bought it literally what it's like to be me on you know? iTunes because like and it hasn't left. I feel like oh. most people don't like think about life the way I do, like on that deeper level. So. <laughs> what, dude? What are, you, what? Mm. what are you laughing about? Just me. What are you shishing about, man? Just me. <laughs> Just you again, again. I don't care. I was telling Aiden okay. about a story from my childhood. Oh, the one where you... I won't spoil it. You he, won't spoil it? He. I think it, we could spoil it. He I, said, quote, <laughs> I turned my friend's head into bread dough with that cinder block. <laughs> That must have been like the middle of the story. Surely eight. he didn't open it that way. I was way. eight years old. Okay. And I killed another kid on the playground. I'm surprised I, I you what could lift up meant in that the song. cinder block. <laughs> What's it, what'd you say? I'm surprised you could lift up the cinder block at eight. Why would you be, be so insulting to me as my friend? To your eight year old body? Yeah. I feel like that's rude. Do either of you guys want a fruit snack? Yes. A fruit snack? Yeah. No. Okay. Do you want a fruit snack? Okay. Really quick. Just. Oh, you want to. Okay, he didn't try. My throw wasn't good, he, but he didn't try. Y you didn't try either. That throw was no. Some I think it was no way. It's like go welcome again. Back, welcome back to the yard, everybody. Run I'm it, gonna, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Archie, uh, make this look like first try. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Oh, he's not moving his head. He's not moving oh, yeah, his head. That's he's actually not even his head. You're not a basketball. You're not like harder in this journey. And that's slouch. a problem. It's like you don't care oh, about no. succeeding at tasks. It's caught in my folds. Why is Ludwig not here? You, you guys, you guys right. might be wondering why there's a curb or, sitting right here. Or for the, the super fans, they might be asking why Schlatt isn't here. Yeah, so let me, let's break it down. Let's tell you guys what happened. Basically, we tried to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> this time. And, and Ludwig didn't. They said it. guns are legal in Texas. <laughs> I, this time, we couldn't take it back, Ludwig, and we are not allowed to try anymore. Ludwig looked our Delta co-pilot in the eyes and said, why can't I open carry on this plane? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he's so, in custody. So what happened was that we were going to go to Austin, Texas to do an episode with Jay Schlatt and Ludwig. Long, long overdue. Long yeah. over we're actually only going to Texas because Ludwig is in Texas, yeah. and we have to record this show. And we don't like to skip, so we were like, let's just go to Texas. Yeah. And the yeah. bonus is that Schlatt lives there. Yeah, it was yeah. like, it all worked. Which is who we've wanted to have, yeah, we've wanted him on for And a it hinged on the idea that our flight would take off from Los Angeles and land in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Neither of these things happened. No, no, we just show <laughs> well, first of all, put y'all on game really quick. LAX Delta Terminal has juvie. Yes, it does. And don't burn this method. Because I don't know how long it's going to be hot. Yeah, that, I mean, it probably already is. That's like, what I'm saying. We, Dude, we, I was so we, shocked. We punched a case. I was so <laughs> shocked because we're in the Delta Terminal, and I'm like, I, I got there. So I didn't bring my ID to the airport, which I thought was GG. Yeah, that was bad. I thought when you do that, you, they just go, you, well, you can't fly. You don't know who you are. But they just, like, call the government, and they go, they, like, they go, like, me, and they look at you, and they go, well, what's your name? And you tell, you tell them, and they're like, me, me. What's your phone number? <laughs> and then after like those, like three of those, they go, all right, you can go. And uh, the Google Authenticator code? Yeah. And, yep. They the, send you like the code. And there's literally nothing else. I just went, I just got on a plane with no ID. Oh, like, that's pretty cool. Well, I, no, I didn't get, I got into the airport. That's an ID. step one to taking it back. Is not having a paper not having trail. Your ID. Do not bring your ID. <laughs> Instead, give them all of your other information. No, give them verbal information. Because right. you know what's probably happened on the other side of that call? They were like, we don't know. We, we can't prove it. I could have said <laughs> the, I was fucking Bill Clinton. The, the FBI agent on the other side of the phone call is just, he's looking at his coworker going, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I love, like, oh. they told me specifically, they're like, so keep your phone in your pocket so we know that you don't cheat. And I was like, oh man, they're going to ask me some fucking questions. And then yeah. it was like, what is your phone number? <laughs> I, 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 if you're someone heisting the whole, like the airport like this, on. surely oh, you memorize I that gotta stuff. I got to check my phone to see that one. Imagine <laughs> doing all this to get juvie. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what know, I was thinking. Knowing about. it's the only place that sells it in store. Yeah, buying buying a, the last Delta ticket of the day just so you can get into Terminal Three to buy a juvie. So, so so I get in, I get in, and I need a notebook because I had something I had to write down on this flight. Like, I wanted to use this flight productively. I needed paper to do that thing, and I was like, "Slime, you are already past the gate. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but can you look for a notebook for me in the Delta Terminal so I can write down stuff?" And he was like, "Got it." And then I show up and no one's got a notebook. And I'm like, were there none? He's like, there's none. I'm like, that's crazy. There's not like a single piece of paper device of kinds anywhere. 
And then I wander I myself. No is, bro. Then I wander myself, and I find a fridge of juvie. Yeah, well, it, it was in the gamer lounge, right? It was in the gamer lounge. Because there's, like, this gamer, like, place where you can <laughs> yeah. sit and play Fortnite. It's exactly like, like the ones in the mall. It's yeah, like It's yeah, like they yeah. only have console games. And well, they got PCs in there. They got, they got, there's I two, PCs, two guys you? playing Valorant in the corner. Really? Okay. I saw That's it. pretty tight, actually. Did you yeah. really? Yeah. I, I didn't see it, and I gave it a look. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and Nade was behind the counter just fucking chilling out. Him and Courage. I went in and I was like, can I get, I, I don't know why I asked it this way. I said, can I buy a Juvie? I said it like, am I allowed to buy, I meant like, do I, am I allowed to buy things here? <laughs> am, I yeah, like, yeah. am I allowed to purchase this rare collectible? The guy was so yeah. pumped. He's like, you absolutely can. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, is it not popular here? Is no one put on game yet? Am I the first? I do wonder what the agreement was. I wonder if Nade delivers it himself. It is. He good. shows up in a in a in, a, in one <laughs> of Ludwig's milk trucks and just fucking delivers the juvie himself with a with a baseball cap. <laughs> so apparently we're we're one of many flights that got canceled to Austin that day because everyone was so fucking mad. Yeah, like, it was crazy. It was yeah. like so we were just sitting there and they're like, yeah, it's delayed, and we're like, okay. And then they announced to the terminal like an hour later, like, okay, so. We need a co-pilot. One is not showing up. <laughs> Slime stood up and he went, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple laughs. And like, and like two people were like. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of laughs oh, from man. the terminal. And then, and then the, the dude at the desk was like, well, you're Italian. You clearly aren't capable of you doing this. You're not capable which of is, flying anything. It, which is in the Delta terms of service mm -hmm. that Italians cannot be pilots. That's why they changed terminals because the old one had a Sabaro in it. Yeah. <laughs> and it fucked up the vibe. <laughs> no one was down with it. Yeah, people got weird about it. Uh, so now we're here. Yeah. And not, like, not in Texas. In the, in the airport, listen, I pissed myself. <laughs> what? I Wait, pissed what? all over my pants. What? I pissed what? all over my underwear. I told you How? this. You How did I not know this? I, I, I basically, I peed in the urinal, uh -huh. like, a, yeah. like a normal guy. Was it like yeah, the backboard good. or was it like and you then, pissed? You, you and then so I thought I was done pissing, but mm. the sensation of my wiener and the pee coming out. <laughs> Numb? Did you have it, it like didn't work. Yeah, yeah. And I put my wiener back in my boxer briefs. Back in the in the wiener and they place. And just soak. Yeah. And I yeah. because we're only literally going for a day. I have a backpack only full of clothes and one pair of extra boxer briefs. So I get it, and I have to like change in the bathroom and in have my pissy piss underwear in my bag. You didn't throw them away. They were, I literally just bought it's like just a whole pee. pack, and it's just <laughs> pee. I love that it's answer. Just <laughs> pee. It's just pee. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. How come, how come when, maybe water does this too, how come when you pee yourself a little bit, but you just like kind of deal with it because maybe you're like at Costco or something, <laughs> like it always gets itchy on your leg. You ever feel that? <laughs> oh, that just happens when you get wet. That's just is wet. Is that what it is? Yeah, I thought maybe like, my pee made It's like why babies get rashes. Okay. Well, thanks for not making fun of me. I we, said that in confidence. You can have baby powder and yeah. you powder your dick. All mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and he, it doesn't get a rash. That's why he powdered. He that that's what the powder room's for. That's what the powder room is for for women. <laughs> for, their, for their for their penises. For their, yeah, their penises it's harder and their for vaginas. Them, they have weaker <laughs> muscles <laughs> have, and it's harder for them to control the stream. <laughs> that's right. So they go to the powder room and they squirt and squirt so as they pee. don't squirt as pee and they squirt <laughs> and squirt as, as pee. And if, you, if you squirt thyself, my family, do you <laughs> get itchy the same way as guys get itchy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, the powder room is so you don't chafe from the squirt. Do you think any woman? <laughs> do you think any woman to her friends has ever been like, "Yeah, I gotta go take a squirt." <laughs> yes, definitely. That's like, definitely happened. Like yeah. as like a crass like way of saying, yes. like she hey, she resembles <laughs> like, like she. I could I could see her actually. I could see her. She looks like a ba Amanda Bynes in two thousand nine. What? What? I just see it. Okay, I, that's yeah, who's yeah. saying it. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, uh, hey, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sluts. <laughs> Why did you always hey, like, bitch. I guess she, I'm gonna go. I guess I'm, I'm, gonna, she, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have a fucking squirt. Yeah, I'm gonna go fucking squirt. She looks exactly oh, like this. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> I think I think feminism is beautiful. Dude, 2009 Amanda Bynes is a good, a pretty good rap name. Yeah, that is pretty good. It yeah. just rhymes well. Uh, okay. Also. Ludwig's in Texas. Yeah, Ludwig's in Texas. We gave up. We thought we were like we, we were already kind of like, damn, we're going to Texas for a day. We we had one reasonable option, which was there was two flights later, and our but we couldn't get our bag back fast enough, and the terminal layout of LAX is all fucked up, so we couldn't get on the last. The line flights. to get our bag back that we checked because it has all our podcast equipment. It was like maybe like an hour and a half long. It was crazy just to leave and get the bag back. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, so we were just fucked at every turn. It was just such a miserable shit experience, and I pissed all over myself. <laughs> and 
that was also that I pissed all over. Yes, I did that. And so yeah, and so I here we the, are. And I and I ate the shittiest dinner imaginable because of this pescatarian deal. Oh yeah, we're still all on it except <laughs> Nick. Nick. Dude, Nick except broke. me. I broke. Yeah, I, I want it. It kind of sucks. The reason I broke actually kind of fucking sucks because I was just like, I was just like sitting there and like I was doing so. It was so easy. Like I was not having trouble with this at all. I just had a really fucking bad day. I was stressed out about something. And my girlfriend's like, hey, you want to get breakfast? I'm like, yeah, sure. We, she orders the food for me. We get in the car. We're already halfway there. And then after halfway, she's like, oh, what, <laughs> what I got you has bacon in it. Ooh. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. I just, I just don't want to think anymore. That's today. right. You yeah. were I don't want to think anymore. I was That's fed up. That's because you're weak. Yeah. You're I, weak I have man. to accept that. You're I have a to. Tiny little baby. I have to bear. accept this from you, but understand this was an easy challenge. You are a six inch <laughs> figurine <laughs> made of glass. Surrounded by cum. Yeah. Surrounded by cum. In a jar. And also other figurines. And I wouldn't even get <laughs> cum on your figurine. That's how much I don't. I'm full of cum. You don't have to come on the figurine. It's already full of cum. Yeah. yeah but I, full of normally it. I'd, inside I'd add mine. <laughs> normally, I, normally, I'd if, my I, hat into normally if I saw a jar in the figurine, I'd come in it because I'm polite and I understand culture. <laughs> and, 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 the the point being, this has been a shit week. We don't have Ludwig. We our flight got canceled. The fucking office is leaking. We lost power at the office for three days. I miss Ludwig. Uh, it Ludwig's car got stolen. Uh, and uh, yeah, just just fucking sucks. It's crazy that whole BTS fucking and, ended. and BTS went up in flames. Not the K-pop group. Not the K-pop group. All nine of them are still strong in the military. I think if I if I so if worried. I don't specify that, like a girl will kill herself somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone who's nine yeah. and believes me Someone will kill like, themselves. BTS source the yard podcast. BTS has broken up. Yeah, BTS <laughs> BTS is going down and is now is no is going defunct. Yeah. But it's, just, uh, it's sad because the uh, for those who don't know the company we used to work at Beyond the Summit, all of us except Loewig, uh used to work there at this uh, production studio that puts on mostly like esports events and things. We have a lot of close friends that work there, and unfortunately, after over a decade there, uh, they have to shut shit, down. That long? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. I was watching BTS uh, streams on my phone, working night audit at a hotel uh, job in college. Watching Chinese Dota games because they were the only studio that mm. would cover it, um, and I was just like, "This is that's great. This is great." It was like this because I really was into Dota. It was just part of my like routine, part of the culture. Uh, it was like they copied home, home Story Cup to make the summit, which is an event we ended up all producing and like working on. And then, uh, yeah, so it's like these ten years of fucking literally just like, oh, dude, LD is like we. You know, you know, this is echoed because everyone says the same thing and no one like debates this. No one's not like LD is actually kind of lazy. Like LD, <laughs> we, when we worked there, it was like you message him on Slack literally any time of the day. He's just fucking like, yeah, what's up? What do you need? What's up? Like he was he was a disgusting workaholic of a man. He's very, is. very hard worker, and very kind and empathetic. And I think I think for for all of us like this, I don't know, this place was like really important and like. I think shaping who I am is like a, a as a professional as like yeah it dude Ludwig's fucking big break the roast of Hugo Gonzalez mm, BTS fueled who produced that shit yeah that's right yep and we we thought oh that was such a god I was I was stressed I was so stressed I was bleeding out of my nose and like I went to the doctor and they were like you're just really stressed everything's fine and I was because that event because I wanted it to go well it was fucking crazy bro <sighs> rest in peace rest in peace much love. Hood love. Uh, uh, a I'm, lot of hood love and hood comfort. <laughs> I think maybe, I think maybe, you know, maybe what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know about the hood comfort, man. I know about, I know about I, the hood I comfort. I just want to make sure that you know what that, I'm talking about. It's the fourth, oh. it's the fourth tier on a Delta plane. <laughs> <laughs> hood comfort plus. Economy. Yeah. <laughs> comfort. It's actually it's the a, top. Hood it's, comfort is you <laughs> sit in the back aisle and sit right after somebody took a <laughs> shit in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 uh, on the off chance, like I, uh, I think we're we're kind of lucky to have a a big platform and a lot of people that listen that like work in the esports or like production industry. If you're looking for talented people to hire, uh, BTS release like a full contact sheet of like all the employees that uh, don't yeah, work if you, there. If anymore. you listen to the Yard podcast and have any skills or power, 
Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm, t- I'm talking to a few of you. Which here. we're talking about Tweak. Talking we're about, talking about, about Tweak. Basically said tweak, tweak, tweak. If you need a whole ass production team, Tweak, <laughs> it's like Tweak and Magi. Those are the two. <laughs> pillars, and CCNC. Those are the three pillars of gaming that listen to our podcast. Yeah. And uh, and we we value. Hire some of them fools. Uh, uh, wait, what was I gonna say about fucking fucking ass this and that fucking? Yeah, dead. you're talking about Metal Gear, man. Just do it. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna make a Metal Gear reference. Yeah, yeah. Final fun. Fantasy Metal Nine Gear. was really touching because the this is like Metal Gear. Don't when. fucking patronize me. <laughs> Don't fucking act like you know yeah, the my P- culture. PS1 no, stop. stop. Culture I literally don't want to hear it. You're being an asshole. I literally don't want to hear it right now. Uh, I forget. It doesn't Dude, I'm going to make the intro to this episode, the video I took in your car on the way to the airport. Oh, Simon's, uh, Simon's going to be, be, be in pain. That's so rude. That's so I get, fucking I get rude. Line, you, know how, you know how sometimes when you get into your car and it auto plays your music, but it doesn't use Spotify, it just goes directly to iTunes, and you yeah. haven't used iTunes in a very long time. Yeah. So that happened with him, with me. Which is bad because when your homies in the car, when that happens, it, the source does not matter. It doesn't matter. They go, "Damn, bro, you fucking pumping Macklemore these days," and you're like, "Bro, it was fu-, and you're and, like, and the the <laughs> what plays is extremely funny given the context of a lot of things." We get in the car and Insta Frame One, the soundtrack to the Social Network, is playing. <laughs> And I look at it, and I look at him, and he goes, don't. <laughs> and, I, and my phone's coming out in slow motion. <laughs> didn't, I was just like, didn't Trent Reznor make the soundtrack yeah, to the movie? Yeah, he's really talented. And you like Trent Reznor. Of course I like Trent Reznor. But you don't like Aaron Sorkin. I don't like Aaron Sorkin. So how do those... How do, those how do, how do I deal with that? How does that I mean? just listened to the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy. That is easy, actually. And yeah, then when the you said it. it was your favorite movie, I stood <laughs> tall against you. And I, and, well. I, and I said, no. I said it's wrong. Trent I said Reznor, you're I, it's my fucking, favorite movie because Trent Reznor is my favorite composer. If you would have said that, I would have been like, "Fuck, I can't say anything." It would have changed everything. I would have been nice to you for like six years. Yeah, it was crazy because I didn't say I didn't say either of those things. That's the crazy part. No, didn't you say said it was my favorite movie either. Look. You literally cited you, it as a. As, I asked. I was trying to connect with Aiden, and he brings up the Social Network. What the fuck is your problem? Look, guy, like, guy who's the Social Network's favorite movie is a guy. That is a guy. And speaking of guys, we have a concept for this episode. That is a guy. Yes, we have a concept because we wanted to make it a little more special because it's because it's a lot of it. My inspiration, going. you know, is like Ludwig's not going to be here. We should all just be YouTubers for a day. It's <gasps> like you know what what would CW do? What would Chuckle Sandwich do? Not CW. CDS. CW and Chuckle Sandwich. The, Chuckle Week. Yeah, maybe the is where CW. I got that from. What, what would they do? What would CW do? They would make a super hero they series. Uh, yeah, what would Chuckle Sandwich do? Uh, it's a tier list episode. Yeah. We're, we're, we're doing it. I but, think this is good. But the I'm reason excited. why we're doing this is because I, uh, I was doing a mixture of things. One, laying up late at night, but two, also watching Gifted Hater on YouTube. Shout out Gifted Hater. Uh, and I was just, I just thought, like, how funny would it be if we just ranked every guy? Yes. That was how it started. I was like, we should just rank every guy ever of all time. Every guy ranked. <laughs> so it's basically, we we, we, put, we basically wrote every single yeah, guy. Yeah, I hit up them and I said, we're going to rank every guy tomorrow. Send me a list of all the guys you can think of. Yeah. You got something to say about guys? Look, I just thought... I feel like you're trying to talk about guys. I just trying to talk about guys and dudes and every... I, honestly, it's kind of hard to think of dudes. Like ones that everyone would know and, every, and everyone would be, would be like related, relatable to. Uh... But I think we have like over 90 dudes. Really? Yeah, types of dudes. Yeah, so so Nick Nick approached us and he tasked us with coming up with guys. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to rank all of the guys ever. That you'll ever meet. That you'll ever meet. Ever. And so, so here are our tiers. This is from top to bottom. Uh, the homie. So first of all, yeah, that's the pinnacle. It's like if he's the homie, it's like, you know, full invite to all hangouts. It's... Would recommend to hang out with other friends, provides value to your life. That's the homie. He's in the call, and you're like, oh, yes. This is the equivalent of S tier, yeah. This is an S tier dude that you meet. Under that, we have kind of based, which is like, yeah, they're kind of based. It's It's like, like, it's kind of based. Like, maybe not for absolutely everyone, but I love it. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. And it's like, maybe all your friends aren't down with this guy, but like, I think it's kind of based. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and most know. people want him around. Yeah, most people like, like a generally warm reception. Now we have the harmless category, which is basically our neutral category. It's kind of like, that's just a dude that exists. Yeah. It's fine. You might know, even, you, I might even hang out with him. Yeah, you, you, w- you, you would. I, you would. Harmless because- people are homies to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, you are, you are apeshit for harmless. Yeah. 
because they're great people. And this is going, and this brings me to a, a secret rule that I didn't tell you guys about that I'm going to tell you for the first time now. All of us get our one one time. Our one one if time. If we cannot agree to place on, them on where someone goes, then you get to use your one time. Out of ninety three guys, and if someone else uses their one time okay. and it cancels out your one time, then the yeah. third person decides. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you, so if you cancel out someone's one time with your one time, you don't get another one. Why don't we have like three one times? It's called a one time. <laughs> it's a one time. I can explain it in no but, other way to but you. But if we had three, then it's like, there's so oh, many so guys. Then, then you want a three time. Oh, you want a three time? You, you want to use your three one time? time three times? You want to use your three time. I still would call it a one this time. This is a guy. <laughs> this is actually the type of guy who wants multiple one times. Jail, I want to, I want to call it a one time and have three of them. Does that make sense? No. I don't think I'm being nope. unreasonable. No, we here. have to get to a point sense. where we agree, except for one time each. God, that's so annoying. The next okay, one fine. is a uh, kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. These are dudes that are kind of cringe. Yeah, but those they're okay. I still think. Why do you like this? Is gonna suck. You are a guy. You're gonna make this suck because you're a guy. Fuck, is he on the list? <laughs> yeah, he's on the list. He is. Guy that thinks everything is chill always. Fuck you. No, it's just that the kind of cringe people is like, the, you know. Maybe you still hang out with him? All right, you say that. Well, I, now I'm thinking of all the people Aiden has brought around. <laughs> oh, come I know, <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, exactly yeah, who yeah, we're yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next category is <laughs> the next category is the whack playlist. Yep. Uh, this is going to be a, just a very specific pool of people, I imagine, who make the whack playlist. These are absolutely not the homie. Not the homie. But they are not like they are not ruining the world. So hard that they should be incarcerated, maybe. Yeah. They need somebody, though. They need somebody to spend time this with. This is crazy. Are you just arguing for why you would like all these people regardless? He's like, where do I land on this? <laughs> where would I end up if I wasn't in the room? But yeah, next is jail, and last is death penalty. Yeah. Uh, Self-explanatory. So so that's, uh, I think these tiers are great. So that's seven tiers with a dead middle. Uh, which is kind of cringe, actually, but... It is funny that there are more... There are actually more negative tiers than positive tiers, because I think that there are actually more negative dudes than positive dudes. I would I would argue, yeah. I mean, we, like... None, again, of, them are, none of them are my homie. Jesus but. Christ. I Everyone has something of value. <laughs> that That's so funny, because he does have six million friends. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Aiden's like a glass hat full type guy, but also you can't have any. Of what he has in his class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you do have some, he will Venmo request you for what you Yeah, drink. he's like, well, just, just split it. Just split it with me. Like, I, I paid 20 bucks for this drink, so like, you're going to hey. give me like five. Yeah, just give me like five bucks. It's fine. If we counted the glass, if we counted all the liquid. Yeah, just give me five bucks. Just give me five. All right, look, let's get started. All right, we, have, we have a very long list to get through, and I, I want to get through. Yeah. All right, so yeah, just grab one. All the right. poker player. Poker player. So I imagine this person to be like... This is like the person who is always talking about poker and explains yeah. the world through the lens of poker. Yeah, I also I think that, that a lot of people, unless you like play a lot, you probably won't quite understand the cultural aspect of poker players. But I think it has always been my take that they are the most culturally bankrupt. They're like they're <laughs> they're insanely lame. Like they 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 do nothing. They watch nothing. If they like things, they like like shit music, yeah. shit media. Uh, they like say the same four catchphrases all their life. They're degenerate gamblers that think that they're not. Have you ever seen like those videos on YouTube that are like what English sounds like to non-English speakers? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how I feel around poker players because they're like, so he goes in two deuce pre-flop and I'm, I'm like, I'm listening. I'm like, I don't know what you're saying and I understand poker. I know how to play poker and I don't know what you're saying. on the turn. And, yeah. and I'm on the button. So so, cer <laughs> so certainly a poker player is True. not someone that I'm dying to have around. But I yeah. personally don't have a problem with, a po with them. Well, I, I would say... You are a poker player, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> but I guess it's like... Yes, you're right. This I, is I you? ultimately find them to be this harmless. This is you when you're with Miles. Oh, God, but Miles dude. is really funny. This is dude, <laughs> when they talk about poker, I'm just like, all right, I'm in the cutscene. I'm going to wait. Me, this is me, you, and Miles walking through Melbourne, like while you two just ramble about games you've played. It's and it's it's because it's like trading war stories, bro. Yeah, it's so money. But that's okay. why that's why I think it's harmless. harmless. I think it's really? harmless. This is harmless. You know what? So this is a crossroads for me for the rest of this tier list. Is <laughs> and you're using your one time. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is like I I if harmless is probably better than kind of cringe which is where i would usually put them which means i have to broaden my idea of harmless and be less of a 
correct. Or, the reason, the or reason, we majority rules unless you one time. I put him into harmless because I think there's kind of this this spectrum of poker players where there's like the chill, hardcore poker player who doesn't like shove it all onto other people at all times, but they're really good. They're into it. It's just this outlet for their like competitive life, you know? Yeah, I don't think we can fairly assume the worst of the type of guy. Like people like soccer player. It think can't about- be like the most obnoxious soccer player. It's just soccer players. Like you, you yeah, average yeah, them yeah. out somewhere. It, yeah, it's, I it's think about like deviation. Kalindi when he was playing a shit ton of poker. And that's a that lot kind of cringe. poker player. That's kind of cringe. That's kind of cringe? It is kind of cringe. You're right. You're right. But I don't think that that... Mm, are poker players kind of cringe? Ooh. Mm. Red man! Mm. And I love Kalindi. Is Tom Dwan cringe? Uh, kind of. Or is he... Okay. No, <laughs> poker, poker players are kind of cringe. Poker players are kind of cringe. Thank you. Yeah, when I think about it. <sighs> So you're, uh, haters, haters unite. Yeah, haters yeah. assemble. That's true. To, yeah, yeah, that's pretty true. Oh, let's put them in the context. Yeah. Sorry, let's sorry, Alex Botes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, you know what? Uh, never mind. All right. <laughs> little cross little earrings. Little cross earrings. The dudes who always are wearing little cross earrings. This was one of mine. Bro, they're kind of base. <laughs> no way, <laughs> dude. What? Dude, we're never gonna make it through this. Uh, we're never gonna make it through this. Fucking base. Hard this fuck, bro. Bro. Kind of cringe. This is kind of cringe. No, God, are we on the screen? They're harmless, bro. Dude, hey, this is kind of me that they're kind of cringe. Uh, Archie, bleep this. It, but it's still kind of based. No way. <laughs> no, but he that has nothing to do with his cross here. Dude, no, it's not kind of. <laughs> I don't, dude. I'm so mad about this. Uh, I thought we'd all be like kind of cringe next. Well, I think. All right. All right also, all right, bleep all right, this. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cringe. I think, yes, I think they're kind of cringe. But also, I'm thinking about like people who like pioneered them, like Roland or Sobble from yeah, Tears or for Chris Fears. Angel. All right, they're kind of cringe. All right, that's fine. I, I was convinced. Always lying. Always lying. Pathological liar. Always lying. Uh, I mean, it's like. I I think we, we you everyone knows a person like this. In Do you know a pathological liar in your life? I can't think of one top of head, but I, I've definitely met people who lie about things like that are very arbitrary. Like, why did you need to lie about yeah. that? Yeah, that's kind of who I'm thinking about, too, is like like the, the person when you're like, hey, do you know fucking Usher? And they're like, yeah. And they don't like that, like type of lying, but constantly all the time. The kid from my school who said that his dad uh, was worked for Spider, the paintball gun company and he had a whole <laughs> basement full of spider paintball the guns dude from my life who told me he played spider-man for gamecube and actually never did because he had to save five when i went to his house they're all spider I mean, what's, the, your, the, what's your spider the thing kid from my school who didn't have a lot of friends and insisted Ooh. he had all the cool Yu-Gi-Oh cards and would give them to me and insisted this every time he <laughs> saw me but i wanted to be his friend regardless <laughs> oh my I care god about you're so Yu-Gi-Oh cards okay. you're so and fucking always, disgusting that guy always, is harmless no, no, no. and you're kind of crazy no he always <laughs> lied about like he's like i have this i have this i'll give it to you i'll give it to you like proving his like value in a, the marketplace of our friendship, so, yeah. and so then like, I didn't want to be his friend anymore because he just lied to so me. So let's all agree the time. on something. Let's, is this person the like you don't got a lot of kick it type person, or is this person the like literally pathological liar? Yeah, they're the they're the people they're the people we're all describing. Okay. I think. okay. Also, that's if you're that guy and you run into Aiden and he wants to be your friend. And you fucking botched that, you really fucked up. Yeah, Caleb, 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 you didn't need the ghost rare of Black Rose Dragon to be my friend. That's right. We could just mm. talk and hang out. I, I think that I, I feel so This bad is in for the Aiden. whack playlist, I think. Yeah, it's whack playlist. Because, like, Ooh. it's not jail time. Our but it's first like... song in the whack playlist. <laughs> yeah. Do think, not play. I think that the only reason I'm willing to upgrade to whack playlist is because I think Downgrade. a lot of these people are secretly, uh, they're ultimately doing it because they're at a loss and, and desire relationships. In their Are life. you saying do you want to upgrade them to kind of cringe based on I want on to sympathy? upgrade them from jail to whack playlist. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, they're we're, in whack playlist. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. put them in fucking jail. Come on. They're just fucking I said insecure. it's not jail. They're just time. liars. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. liars. All right. All right. I'm good with that. <laughs> crypto guy it. real. What is real mean? Okay, so crypto guy real uh, <laughs> is different than crypto guy gambler. Which is just a guy who thinks crypto is another way to gamble from home and okay. doesn't really understand anything about it Fwiz. or care. Fwiz. Is crypto guy is real? That, is that Fwiz? Wait, for real or gambler? 
Crypto guy real. That's Fwiz. Fwiz. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Crypto guy Genuine. real, who we, is like a guy who like either says uh, he doesn't actually believe in it, but thinks it's a way to really make money, but kind of secretly does, and you can tell. Or a guy who believes in what it. What about really guys hard. we met in Japan? What about the guys who were at the house in Japan? Those, those are crypto guys. Are they crypto guys? They're crypto guys real because they were all. They're pretty, real. They're real. Yeah, they're real. They're hundred yeah. because they're about the life. Yeah. Like I, they, crypto guy gamblers, they, they might as well be playing roulette. This is controversial. Just, Harmless. <sighs> Because I think if you're if you're easy kind of cringe, interesting. This is the easiest no, kind of cringe. Hear, I want to hear what he has to say. Because because if this person is if they're fully cognizant of all the shitty stuff around crypto, but have <laughs> like some genuine display of this understanding of the technology and like why they think it's interesting, and that's just why they like working with it. Then why is that? That is by far he, not the majority he, of crypto yeah, guys. Here's, here's, but this is crypto guy real. It's but here's the thing, and I get what you're saying, and I think that's a good point to make. But my counterpoint is that we're taking the entire standard deviation of crypto guy real. <sighs> we have to take standard and they, deviation and of crypto guy real. Most of them suck. Most of them suck. Like even like even if they like think that it's fucking that it's real and it's like whatever, and they're like about it, Ooh. they're still. Kind of fucking I, I don't cringe. Wanna, I don't want to name him, but I'm thinking of the guy that I talked to the longest. You just have good, dude. If that guy didn't have an accent, you wouldn't like him. I'll say it. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. That's, that's not true. That's me. That's not true. <laughs> he, 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 nothing was cringe about that. He was at a very like that's nice an NFT guy. Uh, Ooh, isn't it all the same? Though? No, isn't it not? No, it's Is different. It different? It's oh, different. Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. <laughs> the NFT. Wow. Kind of cringe. If you're into Ooh, the coins, they hang out with each other at the if, lunch table. If you're into coins, they're the same. Kind of cringe. They're all the same psychopath pussies. No, <laughs> no, I think he's right. I think he's right. I actually, and when I look at these it, guys are when I look at it near the other the other people we've put in kind of cringe, I actually think I put them in whack playlist. Uh, real crypto. Think about Twitter. Think about crypto guys on Twitter. Like crypto guy, they are so much no, crypto, guys, to me, crypto guy real. You, you know what's funny? Uh, poker player and crypto <sighs> guy gambler and crypto guy real also all hang out. I think this is fine. This is actually kind of so cringy. jamming to little cross earrings. They don't deserve <laughs> no, this. No, they, they fucking do. <laughs> they also, Zipper, Zipper, can you put Crypto Guy above little cross earrings in the category? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Wait. but I, I do like how this tier list f filling out will help inform our decisions of like all these guys in the same hey, level with me. Can we put him over poker player? Sure. Wait, does that mean he's less? That means he's less cringe than poker player, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. So you want? No, I want put him at the end. Put him at the end. I want little cross earrings at the top, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, you're no right. No way. Because he's borderline no, harmless. You're, you're being an asshole. He's Dude. not borderline, borderline harmless. harmless. <laughs> they're, they're, too, they're too tiny. They're too small. <laughs> and you don't even. You're all you you're Christian. You're not. I don't get it. Has, <laughs> okay, this one. It's has, like the Nirvana shirt. This, this is, one has this never is, not worked at Verizon. Okay. This is kind of based. Tell this me, this is tell kind of me. based. You guys don't have this friend. <laughs> tell me, you don't have this friend that you're like. Well, what are you doing now? They're like, oh, I actually still work at Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows this guy. Yeah, he's uh, just in my head. He's just he's lived in Irvine his whole life. <laughs> he, 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 no. He's slightly worse. He's lived in like Whittier his whole life. <laughs> or, like, he's lived in Whittier. To me, this guy is like he he also sells like mattresses out of his garage. He might he, smoke weed, but he's not a weed he guy. He smokes weed. He smokes weed. I feel like he works out a decent amount. I I, I think our Verizon guys are different. I think this guy's kind of different. Based. Goes to the gym once a week. Body never changes. Yeah, but he's not in bad shape. He's I think not, he's like, harmless. Out of shape. I think he's harmless. He's, do you think he's kind of base? No way, no, he's kind of base. He's, he's There's nothing he's kind of base. He's, he's about harmless. Working at Verizon for seven years and <laughs> not being a floor manager yet. <laughs> Will you describe it like that? Wait, it's is he funny. not a manager? <laughs> he might I mean, be. Does, I don't think it matters. Be. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. <laughs> okay. Is he a manager? Is he based? <laughs> I, I think being the manager of Verizon is like being like a Discord mod. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Harmless is good. All right, ten years older than his girlfriend, and legal. it's legal. <laughs> this is oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a really good qu jail mm. time. What? <laughs> <laughs> jail time. Okay, okay. We just, listen, listen, listen. We just said, Hold this on. is different. Wait, this is because there's obviously there's obviously asterisks here. There, it, it's kind of weird because like if you're a 40 year old man and you're dating a 30 year old woman, th that's two fucking adults. Right? That that's just like that's right. I, I, okay, in my head, this dude. How do I put this? If you're still boyfriend and girlfriend, you are in my head. You are most likely of standard deviation. You're most likely between the ages of. Uh, well, I guess you're not 18. I guess you are between the ages of 28 and 40. Okay, wait, 
I think most because if you're ten I, years older, here's what I think of. Right, you have to be at least twenty. You have to take the standard deviation of these people, and most ten year age gaps are going to be between people in their thirties and forties and twenties and stuff like that. And I think that's. I think I would put it. I think harmless. if you're like fifty and your wife's forty, I don't give a shit. Yeah, why would? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm thinking of the guy who's like this guy's like always like he's like dating like twenty year olds and he's. We we just have to figure out. Okay, assuming the standard deviation <laughs> is like a twenty eight year old guy dating an eighteen year old. That's not the standard deviation. Okay, though. well, I want data, right? Like, is it a vibe? If we're going off vibes, you're available. If that's, the guy, if that's feel? the guy, then it's jail. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but what guy are we choosing? I think we're we're choosing the guy. Wait, who's so like, is the guy who does it illegally death penalty? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I make sure. Yeah, I, if I, he's 25 and they're 15, I want yeah, to understand. Definitely. I want to understand your yeah, rationale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's more like we have to decide what guy we're because this pro- category is too broad. I think we. I I think we. As as I understand this in the world of of normal Warcraft. people uh, in Minecraft, <laughs> most I'm I'm thinking like person who's between the age of thirty and forty dating someone in their twenties, and I think so. If you're thirty, you're dating a twenty year old. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of like that's kind of cringe. That to me, that's kind of cringe. That's like the bottom of like that. That's like the fringe of cringe to harm. And if you're forty, yeah. if you're forty dating someone who's thirty, that's who cares? Yeah, that's ha- literally that's harmless. harmless. So I feel comfortable saying kind of cringe. Yeah, yeah. No, with these addendums, I think this all works. Let's out. just go a uh, kind of kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. I mean, it's also a whack playlist. If it's like, if it's two years less, there's something way more nefarious. Or- some of these guys are in the whack playlist, and some of these guys are harmless. So we'll put them in kind of cringe. Yeah, just know good. that. Know that. Know what we stand for. If they're, if they're, if they're ninety and eighty, it's it's the homie. It's all it's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's my old dude, Jerry. <laughs> and his fucking hot 80 year old fucking girlfriend. It is funny because you do kind of become the man the older you are and the but the bigger the gap gets. If you're if you're 90 and she's 40, that's that's you're, you're kind of the man. Oh, you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> oh, you're the yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, skater. Uh I mean Yeah, kind of base. They're kind of base. Also, here's a here's a here's a hard part. The skaters I grew up with, the skaters were the coolest fucking kids in school. It wasn't yep. the jocks. It wasn't it was like the and skating kids. Bullied you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so I wasn't like in with those guys. And I can't, I feel like if I call them the homie, it's me like copium. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's they're like, not the homie it's like yeah, those are my homies yeah. for real for sure. I think they're just kind of based. I also think they're kind of based. Skaters they're are kind of, kind of like they're like what they're like what melee players are to esports as they are to like sports. I think in, so yes. like, the style, the style is cool and they are putting themselves in danger. And but that is inherently but cool. But they're not mainstream and they're not at the top of the food chain. And they're not just by default the homie because they're a skater. Some, That's true. Some skaters oh, suck. Yeah, There's a lot of suck. shitty skaters. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, yes, this all makes perfect Let's sense. Go next. I feel good about that one. Apple hater. So this uh, is like the Android the computers user. Computers or the fruit? The whole oh. thing. Oh, the computers. The, the whole okay. thing, the whole technology. They're like Apple. You like Apple, bro? My Android can fucking program. Yeah. The, the, this is the Apple <sighs> hater. You know, as Harm. as someone who is like a lead based b- computer builder guy, mm-hmm. I fucking love my iPhone, bro. I don't give a fuck. And I I think I grew out of being lead Apple hater, uh, and I put it on the same sort of like. I put it on the same wavelength as like a Star Wars redditor, you know? Uh, yeah. 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 Which is harmless. You're right. Oh, uh, it's cringe. It's though. a little cringe. It is for it's sure. It's kind of cringe. It is kind of cringe. I think, not you're at the top, I think you're at the top of kind of cringe. Who are you harming though? Because because you're just you're, being if a you dick talk to a, if you talk about it enough harmless. to be the guy, you're kind of cringe. Yeah, and also like you're you're essentially being a dick to people when they bring out their MacBook and they're just trying to live their fucking oh, you like life. Okay, okay. You like your little blue messages? Put yeah. it at the very top of kind of cringe, I think. Yeah, it's it's less cringe than little cross hearings. Yeah, anytime you're a <laughs> hater of any kind, you're kind of cringe, right? Yeah. So it can't ever be harmless. Mm, no, but some haters are. Some, some haters, haters are, are good. not harmless. Some haters are good. You gotta dig deep though. Uh, all right, all right. Honda Civic with anime okay. stickers. Okay, okay. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this because I think we talked about this on the podcast a long time ago. Because I don't think people outside of SoCal understand. How prevalent no, this is. No, surely they do. No, they don't. Go to the rest of... I have only seen this, like, be a common thing in SoCal, where you see cars mm. with, like, SoCal anime big. stickers. Yeah. I, I also was in the car... Maybe the West Coast. Car scene adjacent for a while in Colorado. I didn't see this mm. very many times. Yeah. So it's, Maybe it's, it's, it's the West Coast inter- thing. It's an interesting thing. I'm sure it's everywhere, but the basically... Old- 
You're, we're talking about like a, a Honda Civic, a 2011 Honda Civic with a giant, like big titted fucking Nami. Yeah, it's yeah. Not a spoiler. <laughs> it has some very cheap, low grade mods or really fucking expensive mods. Yeah, the bread does fluctuate. Yeah. But ultimately, the idea is that it's a big anime woman on their car. Well, oh, really? I was actually thinking of like the version where it's like, all their windows have like the characters like peeking over, and it's yeah. all like the little. Oh, this is both. This not, is both not the people. anime car have. There's both oh, people. Oh, this changes it. This and is like dudes who go to car meetups, mm -hmm. and they're, they all have modded Civics with little their favorite animes and Naruto just stickers Wait. all over the car. I, look, look up. I'm thinking of the giant fucking. Look up anime sticker Honda Civic. I'm thinking of the rap job. No, I'm not talking. Not wrapped cars. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm no. thinking of That's little, like a little peeking guy. stickers over things on the on the windows or the bumper sticker or something like that. All right, here's here's what I'm okay. These guys, these guys. Yeah. yeah, these are the guys. But you can just have a normal Honda Civic with this. It's not modded. They yeah. always it they doesn't always. it doesn't have to if be. If we're modded. assuming that they're it's like a modded like kind of scene, then here's here's my argument. You might think, hey, these guys are harmless, but. They probably have a girlfriend <laughs> ten years younger, <laughs> <laughs> and so, so so does this influence the standard uh, deviation of that category? Hey, hey, if we baby, can, if hey, all baby, these guys I'll are pick in you it. Up, I'll pick you up from class. And yeah, we can go literally. Get boba. I'll pick you up from community college. I want to oh. say harmless, but I think it's kind of cringe. Let's go kind of cringe. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to fill this category out too, because all these people hang out. It's gonna make a. It's gonna make a, a parabola. Yeah, which it should. Yeah. Reply guy. Ugh. Uh, okay, so th to me, as a chronic Twitter user, I think this is pretty whack playlist. I a whack playlist. Um, because the, re the reply guy, so just to define this for anyone who may not know, it's just someone who is, you, you, you click expand on literally any tweet from anyone with any following, and, and they're fucking in there. They've replied something. They don't even have a valuable thought. They just need... Whack playlist. They need their playlist. thought to be heard and whack said. Playlist, but they also, crave attention on such a deep, visceral level. Yeah, and this, all, this phrase is often usually, or often used as well for men who reply to women's posts, oh, which is like... Which is kind of like, the same I thing. got my reply, guys. That's like the biggest nomenclature of it, which oh, is also whack playlist. You're a guy right now. Yeah, whack playlist. <laughs> whack playlist, whack about. playlist. All right, next one. Zelda tattoo guy. <laughs> here, oh, so okay. here we are. This one's oh. interesting. Before you, because the a guy I knew who had a Zelda tattoo was one of the hardest motherfuckers I ever met, ever. Fuck. And and so it's like, what is? You uh, met one guy like this, and I'm all just of a sudden, saying, all bro, the whole, this, I don't want him to get me. This <laughs> I think. Okay, this is who I think of. This is who I think of with the with the Zelda tattoo. It's the guy who, and I'll I'll never forget. I was at a house party. <laughs> And some people were playing Smash there, but it was a mix of people where the person hosting the party happened to have friends in the Smash community, but also had a general group of friends that like just trended on the nerdier side, but aren't involved in like competitive video games, right? Triple and this gamers. is what I was kind of getting at with the Mass Effect t-shirt guy. Okay. It's like... Yeah, it's the same. He was watching us play Melee, and he started explaining to the other person who was also watching us play how cool <laughs> Axe is. This guy also... How bad Pikachu is. And he started... And his explanation just had nothing to do with how the game worked. And it's like that type of opinion is just carried over across all gaming concepts by the person who has the Zelda <laughs> tattoo. This guy also has a tattoo that's like a beer glass being poured, but it says one up on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's this, this guy. Are we just thinking of the cargo shorts guy in our head? Is it I mean, kind of? No, it's not the That cargo. guy ends up getting more tattoos no. in, in, in one I of the Zelda. I think the tattoo guy is way more about it. And he's like... He kind of like has this level of confidence that the cargo shorts guy Does probably not have. might not have. Yeah. Uh... But again, the guy I know, fucking Aurelio, was in fucking gangs, bro. Like, I don't... I, I think okay. he was the homie. He was in a triangle gang, and you thought it was a Triforce. No, it was a Triforce for sure. Like, I think he killed people. This one's kind of tough. I, actually, uh, I, I think... I think... I think... But let me, let me throw something in the mix. I think that a lot of these guys are like, yeah, that was my first tattoo I got 10 years ago. It's kind of cringe, but like, it was my I first one. I like it. That's what I was thinking. A like lot of them I, that guy. When I kind of average out the people in my head that are like this, I think they're just the bottom of harmless. I can take that. I, can I, that I lean towards kind of cringe, but I'll take harmless. I can take that too. The tattoo is kind of cringe, because but I don't, the guy doesn't I don't necessarily care. mean like he's most of them, no, Most of them, it actually doesn't matter that they have the tattoo, and I don't think it shapes that much of their conversation. Whereas like... Think about putting them next to Apple Hater, and it's like, no, it's like that guy's always fucking being annoyed. <sighs> yeah. 
It's I, this is fine. It could go either way, but I think harmless is fine. Patagonia Peter. Okay, so here's what <laughs> okay. So Patagonia Peter is specifically the dude who is I only believe. ever wearing puffer jackets and like khaki like cargos. Is he American? He's uh he's American, he but might, he also like doesn't hike. He like, probably he just is always like larping like a hiker. He lives in Seattle or the Bay Area, or Colorado, or yeah. Colorado, and he wears North Face Patagonia and yeah. REI, and he just goes up to the bar with his friends. Yeah, but he's always dressed like okay, that. It's what, fine. what I've it's, noticed is that harmless. this guy is like. Pretty cringe usually, or kind of cringe usually. He's just a no. I think he's just a normal guy. These guys are kind of normies, but they're also larping. <sighs> no, I don't think wearing Patagonia is larping. I don't think I've ever hung out with a Patagonia Peter, and I've been like, <laughs> this guy's fucking chill. Dude, wearing Patagonia is no, al is almost no. wearing Thrasher. I don't think it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's almost wearing he's Thrasher. Not, it's not. It's not that you have to think he's he's. Fun to hang. I don't think he's fun to hang out with, but I don't think he's cringe. This guy's just, just a guy. He's just standing there holding a beer. Yeah. You, you might maybe you went to college with him. You haven't seen him in a while. Like he's just like I, I don't know. And he doesn't have a lot of harmless. He doesn't have a lot of opinions. Harmless. And he's, he's an NPC. He might be hard to have a conversation <laughs> harmless with. Harmless is fine because he's larping as, as like a hiker, which I also don't care about very much. So it's like whatever. Sure. You look sporty. I think stylistically, the brand has all also gotten like pretty far away from hiking. They're it's harmless. just something you wear. They're harmless. Just harm They're harmless. harmless. They're just innocent men. <laughs> <laughs> messy, messy car guy. Messy car guy. This is this, and this isn't like you know a few cups in the cup holder. Is this like me? Am yeah, I messy you're, you're messy car guy. Yeah, you're messy car guy. Like it's fucking like there's trash up to your fucking shins. Yeah, this is like this is like I, I don't get me wrong. I have met messier car guys. I, the first girl I ever dated was a messy car guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I she, think she 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 drove a VW Bug and it was like a fucking it was insane. You know what? I actually think maybe this is controversial. I think this guy's harmless. Yeah, I agree. What if, I think you get it. Kind of you hear the sound of fucking bottles and plastic shifting as you get in the car, but you're kind of just like yeah, yeah, whatever. I think, <laughs> and if you're and if you're a girl, you're probably saying this guy is fucking omega cringe. Like this is whack playlist for I think a lot of girls. But I think Which for me, fair. I'm just like brother. Yeah. I get it. Late you know, night playing Valorant and you fucking. I don't get. I do. Yeah, it. I would. I would argue even kind of base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You want to fight Hold for on. kind of fight base? For kind of base. <laughs> I might agree. I, with I, you. I would say kind of base because this person. Well, okay, it actually doesn't. It doesn't count because I'm just using myself. But if someone else is a messy car guy, I'm like me and you, bro. Right, armless. You, you know what I like about uh, messy car. Okay, actually, you know what? There's an addendum here. So if messy car guy is shameful of it, like you get in, they instantly are like, "I'm so sorry about this." Oh, it's not usually. They're actually cringe. Okay, but if you if they get in the car, they'll say shit, and they're just like, "You like Tool Brother?" And they put music on. <laughs> like if that's the guy, I'm kind of base. Kind of armless. No, kind of base. Really? Because because you get in, you hear the trash move, and he's just like, "I don't care. I'm that's who I am." Yeah, and you're accepting that because I'm driving you, and that's a little base. I think it's just one of those things. Also, that doesn't it doesn't necessarily invade other aspects of their personality or interests. <laughs> their car just happens to be that way. And you only really have to like participate in it when you happen to drive. I'm a messy them. car guy. And my vote is for kind of base. And I, I am allowed to say harmless. That. I think he's kind of based. No yeah, way. Messy, messy car, car guy. guy gets he's the very bottom. Base. He's, he's the very bottom. He's you think bottom. he's better than fucking. Oh, never mind. Because the, the, the messy car guy and the skater hang out. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. That's actually the true. car, and you go, "Come on, bro, you gotta handle this." And he's like, "I know, I know." And then he never does, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah. "He's so proud. He's so proud to be him." And it's like fucking four hundred Starbucks wrappers. <laughs> All right, that's only you. Next one. Okay, Hell messy yeah. hair dad wearing Vans. Messy hair dad wearing Vans. Kind of based. Really? Kind of based. I don't like this vibe. I don't like the this person's vibe. I think he's got scruffy facial hair. He's probably depressed. He regrets the whole having kids thing. I'm he might out. even, dude. He might even. He might wear Patagonia. Bro, he's not. <laughs> he's not like trying to show you he can still kick flip. He's just wearing Vans. I don't. I, he shouldn't. And he's not. Fr I don't. Th I think this guy isn't fronting. He I think he just happens to wear that. Yeah, and he's maybe, a dad. maybe he's harmless. I guess I think he's kind of based. Maybe he's because he's a dad. He's a dad. My, my vote is harmless. Based. But I, I basically, it's like I think you should just wear the New Balances. Like no one's gonna. Mm -mm. No, New Balances are cool now. They are cool, yeah. but they used to not be, and you can still ride on that. I think if you're wearing old shitty Vans and you're raising a kid and you're a chill dude, you're based. I just this assume guy, this guy always has a beanie on, and if he isn't balding, he's kind of based, and if he is balding, he's whack, uh, or he's kind of cringe. <laughs> that's fucked up. I assume that this person. <laughs> 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 
You're right. I'm okay, but it's with, harmless. I'm okay with harmless. You're right, but, but I, I, this person, in my experience, was always a dad that smoked weed a lot and then just was like kind of not. I started, I don't know, roasting my own coffee. It's like, like that's that guy too, kind of. Uh, harmless. Harmless. Top of harmless. Harmless. Top of harmless. Fun. Uh, the, the contrarian. contrarian. Oh, oh, whack playlist. Whack playlist Dude, so hard. Maybe jail time. I hate people like this. Ooh, hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you may, before you angry listener, you might be like, well, that's slime. It's like, I, here's the thing. <laughs> no. I genuinely <laughs> believe. <laughs> I don't think he's the contrarian. It is funny that it's like, before you say it to me, here's why you're wrong. Here's why you're wrong. <laughs> uh, 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 all the time. No, I genuinely believe my opinions when I say them. I'm not being contrarian just to do it. I've thought about, even if it's a stupid reason, I've like went through the idea of it. This is but devil's this, advocate guy. Yeah, this, this is devil's advocate guy, guy and he deserves yeah. jail time. He deserves yeah. jail time. Put him in jail. Because go fuck yourself. This guy fucking yeah. sucks. This guy sucks. But, oh, but dude, like. I feel what like if you ever here, wanted to hang you, out with this guy? He, no, this is my actually my ever. I, that's my <laughs> argument for why he's on the whack playlist. So to me, the whack playlist represents like this is why I don't hang out with that guy. Not this is why he is like a like a bad human on earth. Like if they're a contrarian, it's like, oh, every time I hang out with him, he's always arguing about nothing. He's in the whack playlist. I'm not gonna he's not a homie. I think he's it, in there. I'm Some people have, have to go to jail. I think of it in the context of like college reason, classes though. where you have to attend. Uh, and you have no choice but to suffer through them Ugh, being dude, that way. I, I had a oh, guy like this drafted. I was like the guy always in group discussions in college, but I couldn't really word it right. But this this fits. This, this is the guy. This is the guy in my head. And he, because that you guy have is just... to be there, because it's not like a social function where you can not invite him or opt out. He's like he forcibly enters your life in the worst way but, possible. But understand, but but this is why I think he's whack playlist because that guy, right? He's in the group thing. He's always like anything you say is instantly like, nah, I don't think we should do it that way. Whatever. If you run into him four years later, you're not gonna you don't want to like, befriend him, but you're kind of like, oh hey, what's up? I, like I haven't seen him in a while. A, yeah. guy who, a guy you put in jail, you don't treat that way when you see him. You just fucking hard skirt. Yeah. That's why I think he's in the whack playlist. I guess he is he's, he's closest I, to the always lying the guy. Only thing redeeming, the, very the only thing redeeming about this guy is that when you talk to him normally about a non-topic, he's just he's Generally usually normal. a pretty well-spoken and normal guy. That's like his redemption. I would argue that this person doesn't have the capacity to do that. They're always they, trying to. They, yeah, yeah, and they treat every discussion as an argument to yeah, win. Yeah, they're also no, like the, the epic skeptic. If you, pa- if you path through the the small talk of like, how you been? What are you up to? Like that type of catch up scenario that he's talking about. I'm down for whack playlist. Bottom of whack playlist. Bl- whack playlist is fine. But no, th- there's plenty in here. We will find someone to put in jail. Don't you we worry. Better. Who's and gonna someone to kill? Death penalty. <laughs> yeah. Uber Eats target demo. This uh, is someone who only orders food. And all of their meals come ordered, and they never go out, and they have no interest in going out. This is that. This is the Uber Eats target demo. This is, is Asmin Gold or me. <laughs> yeah, right, dude, dude, or me. No, you go out because, like, you know why this is not you? Because like, you'll find like a cafe or something, and you'll be like, "Yeah, what is the spot? It was fucking cute. And it was good. Okay, and like so you value that, and like I it's convenient, you, and you order you food truly, a lot, but you're not the Uber Eats target demo. If you truly order every meal. <laughs> You deserve jail I'm talking time. like I'm talking like you open their bank statement and you go you scroll down and it's like Uber Eat minus money, Uber Eat minus money, I mean, and it's all that's in there. It's bro, all bro. plus like V Bucks and you, fucking. I think the problem is he doesn't like this because he's dangerously close. Like to I am as close as it gets without being like, like I. I think they're harmless. This is my my vote because you because it's kind of like messy car guy. It's kind of <laughs> like messy car guy. Base. It's just it's not kind of base. It's it's like messy car guy, but there's nothing redeemable. If they're proud of it, it's not cool. I think I no, have to I, I think not. I have to frame this. I have to frame this as Asmund Gold. And as whack it's like as whack as I think that activity is, you as a person can be perfectly nice. It's just and like normal. I understand. You're lazy. You don't value money. Yeah, it's harmless. It's harmless. I mean it's not it's not cringe, but it's not base, so it has to be harmless. Yep. Can proudly rap fast. Jail. <laughs> jail. Jail. I want to put this guy in jail. Dude, you can't. I think this is worse than the Wack playlist. You can't put in jail, bro. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Can. This, 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 this to me is worse. This to me is worse. Dude, if I, I'm not kidding. If I'm like hanging out, I'm meeting new people, and one of the guys is like, one of the guys is like proudly doing a twist of verse. Want to hear me or do, like, or like hear you do right. the Buster Rhymes yes. segment from uh, I can do the whole back I can now. actually do Buster Rhymes I can on 1.5. I'm not actually at 2x yet, but I can do 1.5. I don't ever want to talk to them again. If he wants to do the watch 
Trotsky video in a public setting, I do want to put him in jail. I, I seriously think, like, I think that anyone who meets them will have a bad time. Yeah. I think that you can't find that to be really cool and sick and also be, like, a well-rounded, interesting person. Go to jail. Put you in jail. I want to go to jail. Even, not even cr- proudly, like, rap or, like, fr- be the free... Because there's the freestyle guy. But uh, this isn't the freestyle guy. It's no, like it's, it's not the freestyle the guy. It's just the fast it's guy. About being this is the guy fast. in the freestyle circle who does Eminem rap god. <laughs> and everyone's like, dude, we're freestyling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the freestyle guys don't fuck with this guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you put him in jail. Put yeah. him in jail. The jail time. <laughs> Thank God. Jail time. I was going to use my one time. I was oh, about to riff it. Gym guy. All right. So this one's interesting because it's a wide, wide, it's a wide huge spectrum. Net. Hear, me, hear me out. Hear me out. Don't say kind of based. Kind of no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. He's kind of based. Why no, is he kind of based? Because I think most gym guys are are actually not the people that are like the the loudest are the minority people. And no, I disagree. Think, well, yes, and I think but, most people who no. go to the gym show up, get their shit done. They're quiet. No, and no, they're no that's not a gym to, guy. And they're there to work no, on no, themselves. No, 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 no. That's a strong guy. This is not. That's not a gym guy. Am I a gym guy? No, no, Wait, no, 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 is no, no, gym no. guy a gym poster to you? They're almost like a like a like a grind poster. Like they're almost like. Can a, I get it? Archie, gym guys wear gym clothes when they're not working out. Archie, I'm, I'm gonna need a sensor. Yes, that's a gym guy. All right. Well, he's okay. Uh, all right. So a gym guy. Explain it. Explain. So this gym is what guy. I think a gym guy is. So so a gym guy. Like if you're someone who goes to the gym all the time, but you're just like built in in shape, but like you just dress normally and are normal. You're not a gym guy. You're just in shape. Like you're you go okay. to the gym. But if you if you're a gym guy, it's like everyone fucking knows you go to the gym because you tell people you go to the gym. You talk about fucking supplements and shit. You you're, you're wearing you're wearing gym shark in shape when you're just hanging. Yeah, I can out. help you hit your macros. Okay. You could be asked to go to the gym and you'd always be ready because so, your, your life so is lived The question that way. is, are these guys kind of cringe or are they whack playlist? They're not whack playlist because it, there's something kind of impressive about what they're doing. It's also like it's a positive thing. Because you're like, I, look, I think they're when also, I look at insert sensor here, are, I'm like, you know, he's kind of cringe, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, you're ripped as fuck. I think they're. I, I think also these people tend to be really encouraging and helpful if you reach out to them for advice or guidance about the gym i think which this does pers- make them kind of cool i think this positions themselves at the bottom of harmless i would i can live with that yeah i think they're ultimately if you tell a gym guy i want to start working out they're they're, 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 they're on it they're pumped mm. and i think that's good i think i do per- think there are a lot I, mean, just, I think there are a lot of fucking cringe gym guys like so many of them but i don't think that it's fair to say gym guys are what well, maybe it is fair to say they're kind of cringe <laughs> This is tough. When I think of a gym poster, no, because you know who's a gym poster is like like S Fat's kind of a gym guy, but he's not. He's not. He's so's Bobby. So's Bobby. Oh, and they're harmless. Great. They're harmless because I know a couple. And yeah, this is anecdotal. That's so. enough. All, All right, right, harmless. <laughs> Tyler, the creator fan in 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 parentheses twenty twenty three. Yeah, 20, right. Yeah, basically twenty twenty three. This is basically like like person who like wears a hawaiian shirt as like their main outfit does this still happen and they're like yeah this person still exists okay and tyler, they're not just fans of tyler the creator they're yeah. fans of like like that whole fucking like genre of rapper where it's like their whole identity is built around like the tylers the brock hamptons the rex orange counties okay of Wait, the like world. Frank, but also like frank and ocean. like frank ocean yeah i just kind of lumped him into like odd future i think this guy's fine Maybe it's because it's, it's like a little bit they're real. Minus maybe the I outfit. do think that, yeah, they're harmless. I think that ultimately because of... Are I, they think it, I think they're harmless because you said 2023. I think the way that Tyler, the creator, has morphed and changed his personal brand over time is like if you're still into that group of people now... I think you're a harmless person in comparison to like, if you were a really big Tyler fan, like when Yonkers came out, you might be fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking that too. But it's like, he's released, two, he's just too different He's, he's now. different. Everyone's like, like everyone grew yeah, and changed. Harmless, harmless. Yeah. Harmless. All right. All right. Uh, the Instagram tourist. What's this? This is someone who like, Ooh, like, yeah, this is someone who like travels a lot but kind of solely for the purpose of telling people about it and yeah. like and like posting about it. like is it easy whack playlist i have a hack because i knew someone who did this they got a job as a flight attendant 
just to travel. Yes, I yeah. And then, that's why a lot of fight do the Instagram it. tourist thing. And then like they post a photo. It's like out toward the window, and it's like always airborne. Hashtag. No, it, it's more like they literally go to fucking wherever their their destination this is. This person's kind of whack. Hundred percent. Okay, this that means a lot coming from you because this is kind of you without Instagram. You're a travel. You're a Yoruba. Yeah, yeah you, he's he's. <laughs> so that a term. You're yeah, a you're that, I've yeah. heard that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've been like right is. here. I would have been I'm like, a bit that's of great. A <laughs> so, what's the difference between what you do and what the Instagram tourist does? This is like the person who like that's like, bro, dude. I'm telling you, Japan is clean. Like, it's not like this. <laughs> like, bro, it's clean as fuck dude, there, dude. Like, bro, hold on. Let me. <laughs> hey, dude, bro, 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 bro. I have pictures. Much. I have pictures. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. And you try to look away, and they're like, no, no, no. Like, this one's cool. Hold on, hold on. Traveling is just how you unlock so many. Experiences and like <laughs> and like how you how you learn about them. Get, but that's every Instagram <laughs> caption, and they post every day, and they take backlogged photos and then post them when they're home. Yeah, they're Emory to oh. pretend they're like they travel thing. all the time. Whack playlist. And their parents pay for it, and they're fucking. Um, <laughs> whack playlist. They're whack playlist. Whack playlist. I'm down. I'm down. I like all I right. like his energy. All right. <laughs> oh, this person that person is fucking miserable because if you actually cared you wouldn't need to post about it that's why i think that's what a lot of these uh, whack and kind of cringe tier people are it's people that are too into appearing as the person they are than being the person mm. they are which I, yeah dude i might want to put always kidding so this one is always kidding i almost want to put this person in jail Okay, no who is always, who's always kidding? What okay, is this? always kidding is the guy who every time he opens his mouth to you, he's he's joking. He's, like he's fucking with you. He's Sergio? Never, he's kind of No, I'm just I'm just fucking with the you. Serg- is this Sergio? Cuz he's not like he's like transcended that. Or Cody from Australia. People they don't Sergio. they don't understand this, but yeah, it's kind of like Sergio where it's like but but less like lovable like cuz like Sergio's like like really fucking good at something. This yeah. is like this is like like the person it's like mm-hmm. you talk to them, "Hey, what's up?" And they're and they're just like you know fucking some uh, some joke. Like they're never you can never really connect to them. Yeah, they're always are, are at a joke's distance from you as a person, and they and you never level with them. You never actually get in their head. They're always kidding. They're always like emotionally walls are all up. At a highest whack playlist, but uh, no, I would I would put this person in jail. For me, it's kind of cringe because I I specifically avoid being friends with people like this. Yeah, you do. Uh, you've talked about that. Yeah. Too, I think but what's annoying about this person is that they're a difficult person to even be acquaintances with. I think when you first meet this type of person, when the, you when you have no rapport with somebody and they're also not very good at like tonal communication or like body language or reading the room, this person is often saying things to fuck with you or be kidding that are not apparent to be kidding. Yeah, or like, yeah. yeah, or like they're just like they're just like uh, they just say some shit, and you're like, oh really? You're like, no, bro, I'm fucking oh with you. Oh my god! Fuck. And, then yes. you're, and then you're like, what, oh, yeah. think about how mad that makes you. Yeah, it makes me so mad. It's like one of the only type of people that I can meet where I'm like, you're just. But they're never miserable. not like that, and they're always like that. Uh, I think this is just kind of cringe because I think these people can be like a lot of times they can just be like emotionally inept and not know how to just be serious, and it's like kind of like whatever. I mean, to me, it's whack playlist. I, t- whack I playlist demand excellence because I think a lot of the time this person is trying to razz you in order to like fake some sense of friendship or camaraderie when you don't have it yet, and that's just like just an out of place, uncomfortable if thing. We can, if we agree that always kidding equals always fucking with you, then I agree with you guys. It's whack playlist. But if it's always joking and like that, sometimes that means fucking with you, and most of the time it just means they just will not let you in, and they're just like always kidding and they can't be serious. I, I, think, I just think they're kind of cringe. I think if you're always kidding, you're kind of always fucking with somebody in a way. Mm. That's how I. That's how I. Even if you're joking about something that doesn't have to do with the tie person, breaker. that's kind of fucking. Breaker. I'm kind of cringe. I'm, I'm he's he's whack playlist. Whack playlist. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's where they belong. I'm okay because I don't like them. Yeah. So whatever, fuck it. I, I, we don't like them. We a don't little, like a lot of dudes. A little bit more. I'm learning from this uh, parabola. Is that uh, what that well, is? I mean, it's no it's, bell, bell, bell curve, bell curve. It, it is kind of shaping out to be like the way it should be, right? Most we have people zero are homeless. homies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're gonna have homies. We don't have a lot of homies. Oh, we got a man. core group should of we friends. Kill the rap fast Crypto guy, guy gambler, <laughs> jail, <laughs> jail. Harmless. <laughs> no, harmless. What? Uh, do we disagree on this? What Wait, this is? The crypto guy real is in kind of cringe. How is gambler? To me, the crypto gambler is just a guy who likes gambling, and this is just another way to do it. He doesn't Wait, give a f- what? He I would put him on the same uh, tier as a poker player then. Oh, because in my head, this guy is like the guy who's like really, he's like copium on NFTs and crypto coins to mask no, no, the fact no. that he's gambling. This is, this is someone like, 
Like, you know when you buy an NFT and you're just like, I don't really even read into NFTs. I don't give a fuck about the science or anything. But like, this might go up in money. You're just and my, it and my dopamine up. would like that and feel good. Fuck it. I, I'm a, I like gambling. This uh, is fine. Well, I would, I would argue then that they're the same as a poker player, right? Like, they're... Because to be a crypto gambler, you have to have already, like... I do think they're the same as a poker player. We need a, we need a different crypto guy on this list. We need crypto guy, parentheses, like, Twitter. Ki- crypto bro. Crypto, crypto bro. Like, that's... Yeah. Right? That's the person we that's hate. That's the person I hate. That, um, but crypto... The that's way what crypto guy real is Because me. the way you're describing no, it... No, crypto bro Because crypto guy is, real yeah. is different. Yeah. He, a crypto bro is, like, an evil piece of shit. Who is so fucking annoying. And doesn't actually know anything about what the fuck. The crypto bro is the guy who he played. He played like varsity basketball in high school. So no one and has like a 3.2 GPA and like <laughs> is trying to tell you that he gets how the blockchain works. But he actually doesn't know but fucking just, anything. But he just memorized the first four sentences of the description of blockchain yes. and can remember how to recite yes. them to you. Yeah. And this guy, that guy is fucking miserable. So can we, yeah. uh, can we agree that, that we are basically saying into the world that there are no types of crypto guys that are harmless? That's what we're saying. Yeah. I think that's okay to say. Because if, if cri- I mean, what you're saying. I think is, the crypto gambler is kind of harmless. There's a crypto guy who's kind of based. Uh, what? The crypto guy who's who only buys drugs with Monero is like kind of based to me. That's just a no, drug. No, that's a guy who, who owns crypto and uses it for drugs. Not drug yeah, that's guy. just a drug user. Which are that's like based. saying it's like saying being rich means you're a finance guy. Oh, okay, okay. You're it's right. Not like that. You're right. I think, but yeah. To answer your posit, harmless. The, yeah, no crypto people are harmless. There's always a level of cringe. Okay, that, okay I'm down with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, but but put but put him under. Oh no, no, above real. You're right. Yeah, okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. Esports, Esports organization or- employee. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. this is this is gonna be. Oh, this <laughs> one. Okay, look. All right. Kind of cringe. Too many of them. Kind of cringe. Too many of them have been laid off recently. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not. I wouldn't call that an esports org. B- t- BTS. I'm not no. talking about BTS. We're talking about the guard. Oh, right? you're right. You're like right. If, you're like right. if specifically guard. All right. Here's the thing. All when, of them I meet are kind of cringe. Yes. And when we think and we talk and think and speak of these people, and I mean we meaning us three, <sighs> we have a very intimate sort of uh, uh, understanding and illustration of this person, which is someone who wears boosts. Yeah, who, Yeezys. They got Yeezys on. It's kind of cringe. It's they kinda, have their fucking, like, their big watch. They, like, they're kind They're, they're wearing joggers that have, like, white designs with, like, crosshairs and, and, and like, Japanese characters. <laughs> Maybe, okay, this, this is... This it's is, the eSports bro. I think this has kind of been a bit refined over time. I actually think as time passes, this old version of the eSports org employee that we used to make fun of a lot is slowly disappearing or changing as time passes. I no. actually do believe that. No. What makes you believe that? Have you because seen... I think I think just how people who present themselves that way online uh, have changed, or like new incoming people I see in the industry are less like that. I think people have leveled more with what the industry is. I think there's more honesty. I wish I could pull up a random Team Liquid employee, <laughs> dude. Uh, I think that they are kind of cringe. I think it's almost undebatable. I don't think they're lower or higher. They're uh, definitely not harmless. I think you're. They're all. The, they're all in little the, dollhouse versions of what they do for work. I think they're, like they're the, all. None, none of them are. They're all LARP. It's like if you're in esports and you're like a like. I don't know. You you are like a videographer. Mm, you rep, like you're only kind they, of a videographer. They rep too hard. I I think like one cringe thing I can still think of is like when you work you work for the company. But it's like, you know, if I worked at like Goldman Sachs, I wouldn't put Goldman Sachs slash slash Aiden in my Twitter <laughs> title. What do you, what do you like, that would be so hard. When you talk, talk to someone, G, G, GS Aiden. Yeah. You know, I'm just fuck. like, dude, when, when you, you just, talk to someone, you, you just work there. When you talk to someone who like works at fucking like, I don't know, let's just say like Goldman Sachs or somewhere like that. It's like, and they're like, I'm a salesperson. It's like, oh, like, how did you get there? It's like, well, I did sales at like this firm and then I eventually met this person. When you ask someone in esports who does sales, like, how'd you get there? They're like, I graduated with a kinesiology degree. Well, almost. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, I actually just like played COD with Nade for like three years and then they needed a guy and I like kind of so did. Many, dude. That's I, all of them. We're going to make some people. Oh, this is so cringe. No, this, is, this is bad. Fuck. We're going to make some people fucking the upset. Whack, this you one. know what? You pushed me over the edge. The whack playlist. No, it's no, just kind of cringe. Some of them are fine. Because not all of them fine. rep so hard. Everybody's fine. Not all of them are fucking like green wall, bro. 
Come on. And the Come second on. they get fired, they're like, never mind. You know, you know Hitch listens. You know <laughs> Hitch listens. Well, okay, the thing is, all esports old heads that, like, they know this is the game, right? Like, they, they, they hear this and they're like, oh, yeah, that's fucking it. Like, they're laughing along with this. It's the, it's the ones that are insecure and the ones that would, like, hear this and be like, that's fucked up, bro. Like, they, they haven't figured it out yet. Kind of cringe. Uh, it's kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. But as, as, a tri- as a classic esports hater... As someone who literally built that, is pro- probably standing here to this day because he hated esports. <laughs> he built, built the throne of esports hating. And it's this fucking car seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Actually, but, all right, that's fine. Yes, yeah, you going. and Richard Lewis, man. You yes. and Richard hanging out. Yeah, man. Redneck, but lives in the city. Interesting one. So this is, yeah, this guy is like LARPing being in the South. Like he is like, like, where's Bass Pro? <laughs> Aiden described it well. Drives like a very expensive Ford F-150 that's like always clean. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like, likes fucking stadium country music and goes to those festivals. Where's camo, or like rap. jackets and or, gear, like, or mainstream yeah. rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but is racist. And like, born in Orange County, may or may not be racist may or, or may, make a weird I, comment. I think it's actually, I think Every it's actually dude 50, I grew 50. up with like this. No, well, you're in we're in the actual country. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but they were racist laughing. for real. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> about crazy. These dudes bi- live in big cities, but look like they were like plopped out of the south and dropped in. So they're just all about the aesthetic. Like if they went there, they would not like people would be like. Like, these what guys, the fuck is... There's a lot of these guys in Calgary. I think this is kind of cringe or whack playlist. They go to the south and everyone calls him pretty boy. <laughs> yeah. Or city boy. Or city boy. I think these guys are cringe like inherently because the culture itself is a very, like, a very weirdly, like, white, like, fucking, like, I don't know. I grew up around these actual people and I don't like them at all. Mm, so, right? Yeah. So the, the And so are... if you're LARPing as them... It's kind of weird. You're LARPing as like weird whack people. So you're kind of cringe. You might be whack playlist, but you're not harmless. I like kind of cringe. I hate these fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's ever. Uh, not listening, wanting to talk. No, not listening, but oh, waiting, waiting to, to talk. talk. So like every time they're like you're talking to them, you can tell they're not hearing a word you're saying. They don't care about your point of view. They don't care about your feedback. They're just waiting to say their perspective. This guy's just like like after you say your whole spiel, they go yeah and and they say something completely. This like, guy's irrelevant. like a this guy's like a little worse than always kidding. Whack playlist. Yeah, it's it's either is it whack place or is it jail time? Because ultimately, this person is wasting your time because they don't care about what you have to say. I think he. I think it's mm-hmm. whack playlist. I think it's whack playlist too. All right. Because sometimes I think that the redemption of them is sometimes they have interesting things to say. Uh, never gets drunk, always drinking. Is this the guy who said <laughs> insists he's not drunk even though he is no, no, always no, no. drinking? This is the guy who like is a tank and can just put down so much alcohol and you're, he's always drinking. Like anywhere you, time, you, know, you see him at a function or he's at your house hanging out, he's always beer in hand, but you never see him wasted. Like he is just always like somehow putting it down. I feel like I know guys like this, but I have seen them wasted. Like there's those there's occasions in which you got to you got to help him get home. To me this is like kind of like Ben where it's like he's never so fucking gone that like he's a problem. Yeah. I think these guys are kind of based. Um because because <laughs> I also think they're kind of based. Because it means that like it, it means that they just drink to have a good time and they're like they they're don't just bottomless pits. They don't get weird. And they might be alcoholics, but you don't get to you don't experience the negative repercussions of that. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are kind of based. They're only, they only hurt themselves. Which is based. Which is kind of based. Because it, it's all our choices. Because it's also to, kind of impressive. Yeah. It's like you tricked yeah. It's like and Camus said, like it's, I've watched it's you have 10 years. You're not, yeah. And you're fine. What's going on? Yeah. Kind of based. All right. Where's Rasta colors? <laughs> <laughs> Look, again, I put the thing because I thought it made me laugh. But this is I, a white person that wears Rasta hold colors. Hold on, hold on. I want to be clear. This is not someone white. This is not someone who was born in Jamaica. Yeah, this, yeah, is yeah. Some, this is someone who just lives <laughs> in the U.S. and is white and this wears, and unironically just wears Rasta colors. This is Ross Trent. Yes. This Excuse is, I. This is this is like he wears a beanie or maybe a bracelet that's Rasta colors. He's never taken it off. Ugh. Like this is like. You is. know what's funny? The guy that I knew who who dressed like this in uh, community college, he had a framed picture. He had he's a white guy with dreadlocks. I think I've told this before, <laughs> and he had a framed picture of himself on, Wait, his, what? on his dorm wall, and. He used to do a lot of drugs and just go searching for rare rocks. And 
Later on, based or cringe? we found no. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's not based. based. We found out that his family's house was raided because someone was looking at child porn on his computer, <laughs> which I think home. is related to the Rasta thing. <laughs> and and he swore up and down. That it wasn't him. They're just parsecing into this dude's PC. <laughs> okay, this, this might be controversial. I think we should put this guy in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're a white dude in 2023 wearing Rasta colors, you should be put in jail for something. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't, I haven't figured out. That's what enough. I'm saying. I think that they should be in jail. Because they, they've done something to warrant going to jail. Yeah. God, I wish we could change it so it said white. Because it looks like we're just... Like putting someone who wears Rasta colors in jail. <laughs> I think they're <laughs> just. I think they're just the whack playlist. No, put them in jail. Yeah, put them in jail. Put them in jail. What? <laughs> White guy wearing Rasta is fucking weird, yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I agree. <laughs> All right. All right. Extremely nice, but not funny. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this guy, you're gonna have a different opinion about this. Probably. You might be surprised. Like, I think being nice is fucking great. It's just when people are weirdly nice. I, but maybe my definition of that is strange. But these are just a normal nice person. Every, this might be one of the people on the list that literally everyone knows. Everyone knows someone who he's is kind of extremely based. nice but not funny. No, he's not kind of based. He's kind of based. No, being nice is the bare minimum. No, no, no. Extremely nice. I guess extremely nice. And we're enough. assuming like, genuine. Like do whatever for you. Yeah, it's, it's not genuine. Mani- it's not manipulative niceness. It comes from the core of their being, and that's really who they are. But when they when they drop a fucking stinker on you, uh, like when they when they because the way the reason why you know they're not funny is because they, it's because they've tried because they always fail. Yeah. Oh, so is that that's why how you know they're not funny? We have a good understanding of them not being funny. I mean, what if they just never tried to be funny? Because to, to me, this person that would isn't be extremely someone, nice. To me, this person is but someone who isn't trying, really trying to make jokes yeah, or yeah, trying yeah. to be so funny. Someone, look, if you someone, should say extremely nice, but unfunny. That's different from not okay, funny. Let's treat it like unfunny. Okay. That, that's what it, that's how it's meant to be. Extremely Ooh, nice, extremely but, nice but being unfunny. Funny. Provenly, provably unfunny because they have tried and failed oh, many they're times. They're harmless. Harmless. I think they're harmless yeah. too. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go, let's and, put it there. And you guys might think I'm like, oh, like he, 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 slime and freak out of that. I think it's fine because <laughs> being nice is really fucking good. Oh, gamer Nintendo only. Nintendo gamer baby. Um. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> kind of cringe. I mean, it's like no, it's kind of cringe. Based what? Yeah, what? no. Now yeah. you're now we're smoking. Now you're smoking. Dude, Nintendo big games fat fucking are cock so and good. No. Okay, Zipper's got to go to the bathroom for two we'll minutes. Hash it out, we boys. Let's <laughs> we'll hash it out. Look, Nintendo <laughs> games are fucking <laughs> good, dude. I'm talking about like this. These are like these are ultimate players. You know what I'm saying, bro? No. Yes, no, dude. No, no, ultimate no, no. players just play ultimate. No, no, no. It's ultimate players no. that like freak out about the direct. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, that's no, who, hold on. That's who I'm, that's why they're kind of cringe. You know it's people saying? who watch the direct Ooh, you might be changing and are mind. like, damn, mm-hmm. that direct JRPG is so cringe. looks hot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fire Emblem's coming Sh- out! Fire- oh, oh, new Fire Emblem. Oh, okay, okay, oh, I, I give up. Fire, fire Emblem on the, D- on the DS, I was so good! So maybe, so maybe the first time <laughs> ever the I'm wrong. Fire Emblem, oh, the first Fire Emblem in five years, dude! For the first time ever I'm wrong. <laughs> I told you. I think that you're right. What was it going through your mind when just, you heard Nintendo gaming? Just shut up! Just <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I thought he was talking I'm to sure me. You're fucking, oh, I, th- I thought he was a two. No. I thought he was talking to me. Tell him, 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 they just grew up with a 64, and like they just kept buying Nintendo consoles because they're all pretty fucking good. Yeah, I'm talking about your and contemporary. Then, no. yeah. And they, and like you like yo, have you ever played fucking Amazing Island? They're like, dude, that game rules. Like, like they've played it, and but like I'm like, have you ever played Counter Strike? They're like, bro, I just got a fucking Nintendo. Like, I don't have anything else. I yeah, I see what you're saying, but but I, I'm I think you're right that those people exist. They're more, I think more of the guy that we're talking about exists. I mean, they must because well, they keep making fucking video games. God, for and they just the Nintendo oh, Switch. Don't pass, Traveler. 
Dude, I love how a couple episodes ago he's like, I don't want to make fun of people wearing Mass Effect t-shirts. This is, and now this he's is like, all the rage he's, from yeah, that. He's firing cannons into their face. Well, because he's like, you know, he's a Nintendo guy. He can he can talk shit. You can. On. I yeah. am a Nintendo yeah. guy. You I'm can. a Nintendo my entire life. That's all That's I right. owned growing up. I didn't play the other consoles, and I'm a fucking normal human being. You you earned your stripes. Who doesn't who doesn't watch the direct? I read a summarized article <laughs> weeks later. <laughs> In case, in case maybe Nintendo made something of value. Oh wait, or, yeah, um, we didn't decide. We didn't decide. We just talked about it. Um, um I mean, kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. I think he's kind of cringe. They're, they're not whack. Because I can't. We I can't put him. Let's just I say can't, they're unordered. I can't put him next <laughs> sure, to Ray Glover. Point. I don't have that. Yeah, in my they're heart. not the same as Ray Glover. YouTuber. Mm. Jail. <laughs> Death penalty. <laughs> wow, I actually might. Okay, I think actually. I think the way we gotta put him in jail. The, the way we we have to think about this, we is, gotta put Unk in jail, bro. The majority, it's more than kind of cringe. The majority of YouTubers, are we YouTubers? The majority of YouTubers are not. Good question. <sighs> wait, no, wait. The majority of YouTubers are cringe because the majority of YouTubers are trying to be YouTubers. Yeah, and are yeah. I, I'm gonna put this one in. Kinda well, cringe. also, what's the stat no, Ludwig always more. always talks about? It's like. X amount of like a million sub uh, YouTubers are minted like every day, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's like, but think about the YouTubers you like meet. Like they're like devoid of real conversation. Oh, their value systems playlists. are. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of literally yes, whack playlists. They're not just kind of cringe. They're like wrong. Do you Most think of them are in the when you really talk to them. They're like they're so whack. They're wrong. It's like it's like fuck. Like and some of them are bad. Anyone more famous than you walks in the room and they like stop talking to you. Yeah, I think this is a this rule. is LA YouTubers. We talked about this one day. Maybe, but if that's, if I think that it's a better perspective than most people. We can agree that most YouTubers are going, "What's up, guys?" Well, I that's wasn't most. thinking that was a, when I thought What's of up, YouTuber. Guys? I wasn't grading against like famous or successful YouTubers that like I uh, that we have met. I'm grading against the average YouTuber who's just uploading a video and like, I am trying still to make okay, it. Okay, for and yeah, often like copying aesthetics or not really like covering yeah, it's their swag own jacking. Path. Yeah, I, then, and and that's why it's trying to monetize swag jacking. And you think which that's is whack. whack playlist? That's whack playlist. That is the yeah. whack. That's, okay. that's all time whack. All right. Also, YouTube if you truly believe in like, hey, what's up, YouTube? But you're like, haven't made it yet. Yeah. Uh, that's I can't in good conscience say that's harmless. Hey, what's up? What's up, YouTube? Uh, what's up, twenty and twenty we're, viewers? We are YouTubers. Yeah. We're fucking whack. Fuck it. That part of yeah, me is uh, for sure whack. Well, we yeah. gotta get to a podcast, guys. You know what I'm saying? We'll put we'll put podcast guys on here. Uh, oh, I hear me. Okay, I <laughs> wait. What does this mean? I genuinely think Aiden jail. Describe it to us. I think jail podcast guy. Yeah, I think if you are the, worse than YouTuber. Yes. Yeah, I think it's I, worse wait, are than you YouTuber. Us? I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I just need to know. I well, are you I'm talking about really, someone who I, listens? I'm not to really talking about us. I do think I do think the medium of podcasting because of the relative effort that goes into it. And for the average amount of like the average podcast experience is like two guys booting up like the shitty mic in their living mm -hmm. room and having a conversation and having the confidence that like we should post this online so people can listen to it. Yeah, this is why they're and, not jail. And I think it's I think it's jail time because it's the <laughs> it's the worst parts of YouTubing with the with so much less effort. This is why it's not chill. Because uh, there's another guy in here we haven't gotten to yet, which is uh, we should start a merch company guy. <laughs> yeah. And this guy and that guy are the same. Like, we start a podcast guy mm -mm. who's like, who, they're yeah, the same they're guy. The same. Because they're merch same company guy. guy takes effort. You no, have to no, put, barely. Takes way more they effort. Fiber no, design. They fiber yeah, They start Squarespace. They fucking, uh, I don't know. It's, I, it's, I, it's I, just I, guy I, who thinks they have valuable insight or additions to the world and they're wrong. Yeah, which I think they're whack. Yes, podcast guy is whack playlist. I think podcast guy is at the very least below YouTuber. Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, yeah, I, because less effort. Scum. It's less effort. Yeah, which is like more deplorable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've held that. I've carried that weight. All right, concert festival guy or EDM guy, kind of the same thing. I actually think this guy is uh, harmless. I think they're kind of cringe. Mm -mm. I definitely Wait, don't. Are we t are we talking about like are th is this the dude who's like. Fucking like Coachella, fucking bro. Rave fam, oh. rave fam yes. type, type yes. deal. Yeah. Ooh, kind of cringe. super into it. It's basically their whole personality. And it's, the, and it's everything they do, and their main it, hobby their circulates main hobby. around attending the next social function. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kinda I'm down cringe. for kind of cringe. Thank yeah. you for. Yeah. They're close to whack coming. playlists. The right guy, whack playlist, but mostly they're just kind of cringe. The cinephile. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is, if you don't know, yeah. know what this means, it's just it's just terminally into movies, but also judgmental of the movies you like and like. It's annoying. He it's, definitely has a lot of opinions on like directors that you don't even know. I, he's not harmless. No, he's, he's not harmless. He's kind of miserable. Yeah, he is a miserable person because he's really hard to please. Um, and, and there are cinephiles who are harmless, but I would say the cinephile, kind of the one that we think about when we hear it. Black playlist. I'm thinking of a cinephile in my head who's like really like he watches a shitload of like foreign movies and all kinds of stuff. But he's like he also doesn't care that Avengers is bad. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, that's Avengers not who is I'm like, thinking of. I'm thinking of the guy who like whatever. shits on I know. Avengers. Yeah, I'm thinking of the exception to this, like the, the good ending cinephile, but the typical bad ending cinephile is the guy that's in our head right now. Yeah. And he's a whack playlist because he's ultimately a contrarian. Right? Yes, Ooh. but he's yes. just a movie he contrarian. Is. He's ultimately Ooh. a contrarian. And, if you, if and he backs up his contrarian, uh, his contrarianism with the fact that he just, wa- he, oh, I've watched a lot of movies. Yeah. Like, and I'm it's, the movie it's also like, it's like, oh, what's your favorite movie? He's Black like, playlist, oh, yeah. Uh, it's Belle Saint Germain. It's, <laughs> a, it's, it's a movie from 1967 from French New Wave. Yeah, it's they like, actually shot the entire thing through glasses. Yeah, because they wanted the viewer to understand what it's and, like and to like have be negative three vision. Like that's why I like that because yeah. those are the things I like. <laughs> okay. The- and it's like, well, my favorite movie is role should models. We them, <laughs> should we put them in jail? Jail time. Yeah, because you know what? <laughs> They're probably really into Lolita. <laughs> Wait, what's Lolita? The movie. I don't know the movie. That's crazy. I don't know what that is. Scott's a movie guy. What's you Lolita? You don't know either? I, I'm not uh, a movie it's guy. It's a Stanley Kubrick movie based on the Nabokov novel about a man who is in a relationship with a child. I'm trying to get my fucking knob cut off, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he does it again. All right. Terminally who, who, broke. Terminally <laughs> broke. This is the friend that we oh, all know, dude. we all have, who you are you are always paying for, who is like, I got you next time, bro. <laughs> Never has you next time, bro. He's kind of cringe. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of cringe. It's also like, there, there be, like, being broke is like, it's something that happens to most people. But the th- this person, <laughs> the person who's like terminally broke is like, Come it's on, like, dude, though. come on. It's like like having a job for two years gets you out of being terminally broke. Yeah, and it's like... Because and, and I think it gets it. This person gets you to the point, eventually, he will push you to the edge of, get a job. Get fucking any job. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's that's anything. I, th- I don't actually know if they make the whack playlist, but they are cringe. They're definitely They're cringe. They're definitely kind of cringe. Uh, <laughs> are they harmless? No, because they fucking... Terminally... Also, I should <laughs> specify, terminally broke is not someone who's, like, bad on their luck and is, like, raising kids. Yeah, and that's yeah, why they're yeah. broke. No, this is it's, not someone who's poor. This is very different. No, terminally broke is... Yeah, yeah. This, this they, you guys went to the same damn high school. Yeah. Like, it's all... Like, you, had, you had basically the same opportunity. They just fucking, like, smoke weed and play video games parents, and never have a your job. Your parents own a 4,000 square foot home in Yorba Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of cringe. All right. Kind of cringe. Realtor, bro. Oh, dude. I don't know these people. Realtor, okay. Maybe it's maybe it's where you grew up. I feel like there's Realtor bros everywhere. Realtor bros are like, they're always wearing a buttoned up shirt that's exactly too tight to, so that they can show it. They go to the gym sometimes. They're like, they're like just fucking closed down on a fucking property, they, they bro. They got like gelled like, hair. This reminds me of car salesman. Yes, the car salesman. Okay. Think, think like, car, new, like new car salesman. Yeah, think car salesman, except like they, they are proud of selling lemons because they're making money. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, it's like, it's kind of like grind set, bro. It's like, a, yeah, it's, a, they, bro. there's a TikTok angle on this. Yeah, they're, yeah. Okay. Dude, they uh, might be I think jail. they might be whack playlists. They might be jail, jail? because they're contributing to a, a crisis. A, a crisis. And profiting heavily Ooh. off De- of it. Maybe death penalty. Oh no. <laughs> it might be our first death penalty. I, no, I think it's jail. I, can't, it can't I think be that death I think if we put every real estate bro in jail, it might be hard to buy a home, but it'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it would be like good for the world. <laughs> Realtor yeah. bro is not I think he might be at the I think I want to move can rap proudly rap fast to the bottom of this section. 
This is still, I, still the worst. I hate him so much. Yeah, put him in the bottom. Yeah, put him in the bottom. Yeah, put him in the bottom. Yeah. Put him the bottom. Can, yeah. can proudly rap fast no, in the bottom. Can, can proudly Nobody rap fast goes in the bottom, but Nobody realtor bros are all in jail. Rap God. Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> I'm not you, not you, not you. You know what's funny is at a mayhem, one of the first mayhems I ever went to, or is when mayhem was still around. It's like one of the first melee tournaments I went to in SoCal. It was like a, a circle. You remember those tables outside of the church? That people would sit and hang out at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a circle of people the sitting you there. You your fingers through the holes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And a guy was rap godding. <sighs> it was crazy. And you know who was sitting at that table? I don't know. Mike fucking Hayes on this beat. Yes, sir. And you know he was waiting for his turn for the cypher. No, and you know what he said? He's like, that's sick, dude. Dude, you're and fucking... And I was like, you know what? Dude, I'm actually that's like... I'm actually more cerebral and heady. I don't got the speed, but like, it's fucking dope. We're different styles. That. We gotta stop lighting Mike up. No, no, this is actually all true. But also, <laughs> I, we gotta I stop poker, lighting Mike I up. Poker this weekend, I talked to Mike about some hands. It was nice. It Shout was, out, Mike. Yeah. All right. Self-titled intellectual. Jail. Oh, death penalty or jail. Self-titled. Uh, so, like for me, like this is like the dude who's like, yeah, I like, I like was like super smart in school. I just like didn't fuck with like books and like going to class and shit bro but like i'm like really like i'm actually like intelligent like I, my teachers like all knew like it's like that guy and it's like the guy who like well also this could be people like literally that post on reddit uh, on r slash atheism back like you know fucking yes. eight years ago yes where they're like i just kind of see through it all and which is funny because that's kind of morphing into that like bro I, andrew I tate hate, style I now that guy but like yeah Ooh. anyone who calls themselves calls an everyone else a level one thinker yeah like they're Oh, fuck. Is it death penalty? <sighs> this is worse this than is... Raps Fast. <laughs> this Do you is think worse. so? This is a worse. It's either... It's... I think it... I think this is our first death penalty. I think this is... I think when people are so into the idea that they are intellectual and analytical... And they talk yeah. about it, yeah. they, and like, not people don't all agree with them. They're just like that. They're like they're trying to prove it. You by have no, it. you have no humility. They're, they're they're a mixture of a lot of these guys. They're the contrarian. They're like they rap fast. They <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the cinephile. Like I watch literally only this these good books. Or you know, he's I the, think I think this the is worst death of penalty. everything. Self titled intellectual is the worst of everything here. Yeah, because. The the thing you're faking is being intelligent, which is like it's just a it's an oxymoron. Okay. Yeah. I'm good with it. Wow. Hey, right. fucking hey, good shit, guys. We did it. We got one. CrossFit guy is kind of cringe. Is slightly more cringe than gym guy. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Or gym guy. I mean, gym, no, gym guy's different. Is gym guy harmless? Because the problem with CrossFit guy no, is... no CrossFit guy is cringe version of gym guy. Yeah. 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 Because exactly. he's just too into it. That's fine. Cause, cause there's gym guys no, who don't, who don't, don't need to talk CrossFit about guy, it. We can put CrossFit guy above. No, you know gamer, what it is? Nintendo. You know only. why they're cringe? Because, because if someone goes to the gym, like you might know about it, you might not. But if someone does CrossFit and they have made the effort for you to know that they don't just work out, they do CrossFit and they specify that to you. They're cringe. Then they're cringe. And they do weird workouts. They just do weird shit. Just also, work out normal. yeah. In, in in addition, what gave us gym guy points is that they would talk to you if you were interested in getting started. The CrossFit guy is going to be way more weird about yeah. you know CrossFit. They might literally try to convince you that like, no, bro, don't just go to the gym. Like, do CrossFit. Like, it's different, bro. Like, don't gyms waste time. It's yeah. a brother. It's a brotherhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Soul Cycle yeah, for LA cringe. people. Kind of cringe, right. but not whack. The half weeb. Okay, so the half weeb is just someone that you know that is like into anime. But not. Is but this Ludwig? Yes, Ludwig's a half weave. Yeah, Ludwig is, is a half harmless. weave. Yeah, like the, it's not the like weaves. I've in my head like the, the the top weave. It's like it's really the only media they consume. Like they 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 only watch anime. They don't watch like movies and TV. They watch some anime. They think Japan is generally interesting, cool. Maybe more than the average. <laughs> Just Ludwig. Maybe more yeah, than but the like they could also like throw a football. Yeah, like they person, could. Yeah, they yeah, could. But they maybe harmless. Harmless. Or they like they like date women normally. Harmless. They've gone outside. Harmless because they're just they're just they can just have conversations with more people. Is there? I mean, but I, I guess yeah, they're fine. Because they're kind of because they're kind of weeb posers a little bit. Okay, but I think most of them don't lie about it. Now Dude, the full uh, weeb. This is this maybe this is controversial, but the full weeb is in the whack playlist. Interesting. When you're that diehard. When all uh, you consume is anime, and yeah, you, it is. Yeah, and you that, proclaim. That's I, bad. I think what's the problem is when all you consume is anime, 
and you're that deep in the sauce and you don't consume any form of other media, including like other animation and stuff like that, then you are like arbitrarily closed off. Yeah, you're, you're arbitrarily closed off. Also, it's this weird health, unhealthy obsession with Japan and like Eastern media culture and like the, also the, the, the hop, skip and a jump to liking fucking little girl hentai you're not just really kind of cringe close. you're not just kind of cringe did you guys read the comments of our uh sea dog episode not the sea dog one the the trash taste one no because because they oh, yes they, they, they some of the comments is like we made fun of you know those weird japanese shops mad. yeah some people were mad like oh like fucking liking lolly shit is fucking oh i guess that makes me a pedophile grow up and it's like oh that guy should be in in the death penalty tier yeah he should in the yeah. comments I, can we like write that you can add <laughs> yeah, that, guy. Right. that guy in yeah that guy uh, lolly, lolly, the full lolly of- defender is death penalty for me yeah. for me it's like i have like people i really like who are full weebs who are like like and when and when you're like dude uh, like dude you have a body pillow, like they're shameful about it like yeah I really like anime they're not weeb's they're just they only watch anime and that's the difference <laughs> okay. I think there's a difference I yeah, I, right. I agree with you yeah I think there's a difference full weeb is whack playlist yeah I, I mean, I'm fine uh, with that I'm fine with that well mm, jail time no it's just, no you know what you know what time. I think it's just kind of cringe. No, because, because no, being, it's not. no, because being a weeb doesn't harm anyone. It's just like devoid of a lot of culture and, and it doesn't hurt anyone or harm anyone. It's just what you like. And it's cringe, but like, whatever. Doesn't Fuck it. it come with a, I think these people often have a pompous reverence for the media they consume. Yeah, That's it's my the problem. smugness that we hate. It's the, it's the dismissiveness of other media. That often comes with this person. I don't because think, to all, me, I don't think full, all weebs dismiss like, other media. I think they just are obsessed with anime. No, they do. They do. Really? Like the they, weebs were th- like, the we, greatest saying, story of all time is One Piece. Yeah. No, but that's like. That, no, the weebs, by definition, are they're overdosed on this shit. These weebs, these creatures, they're just. In the night. It's all and they, crawl, they fucking. They crawl around. It's all they're about. And you're saying that puts them in the WAG playlist? Yeah, or jail time. And they might even, <laughs> and, they, and they also self, they roast their own. Like somebody will come in, they'll be like, yeah, I really enjoyed Death Note. And they'll and be like, like well, wow, start a real. That, that's not an isekai. And then they fucking dox so them. So they're like cinephiles? For, yeah. For, for, a, yeah. For a more deplorable Ooh. art form? Yeah. Yes. Oh, is and, it, and, and they eat their own. Is it jail? I mean, it could be. I, I'm saying it's jail. Oh, it's no, just. It's, not it's jail. just. It's just anime. Cinephile. You might get overruled here. It's You're just the tiebreaker. I think. I don't think. Okay, this is why I'm saying whack playlist instead of instead of jail because the cinephile edges towards self self titled intellectual in a way the weeb does not. It, uh, the I don't know. I think, so I think they flirt crafts, with it. I think the cinephile crafts this like understanding of the world from the, from this wide array of movies they consume and then like and then tries to communicate that to others as like intellectualism but the weeb doesn't have the social credit to do that and it's harder to it's harder to like use anime to like fuel your intellectual understanding of like real life i think it's it's harder for you to project. I think, that. I, but I think if they could, they would. And just because they can't doesn't mean they shouldn't be like judged. <laughs> you I know think, what I'm saying? Look, I would like to vouch for kind of cringe. No, I'm going whack playlist. Whack playlist. Okay, if I'm you're overruled. gonna get crazy, then I'm overruled. We can move him up. We can I just move know, full I just know up, I could be in a room with a full weeb of some kind Co- and be like, fine, whatever. Coke guy sucks. Coke, Coke guy sucks. Coke guy sucks. Dude. What, what? What about him? You probably the, met more Coke guys than I think. Than the guy, both of us. The guy who the guy. It's like the main thing they do, and they always have Coke, man. <laughs> It's just, I mean, what the fuck did you expect? It's just like, (laughs) it's like, and they don't have, they don't have a personality like outside. Like I can think of friends who have Coke on them somewhat frequently, (laughs) but they have a lot of traits and value beyond the Coke that they do. So Coke guy is basically only looking to score. He's mostly, he mostly does drugs and he mostly does coke <laughs> and he's taking he's like you want to do a bump and then and then 40 minutes later hey you want to do a bump with me it's like no i didn't Put do a bump jail. with you the first time Put him we're, in jail. At, we're at like a book club right now 
<laughs> Put him in jail. Put him in Coke jail. guy's in jail. Aiden's Aiden's uh, illustration of a Coke guy is, I think, the most riveting thing I've ever <laughs> heard him say. Get the fucking get the get it off my dresser. Put him in jail. <laughs> All, All right. right, open and often a horoscope hater. So this is the guy that oh. likes. This is the guy who like, okay, thinks horoscopes are bullshit because like you know they likely are, but. But it's like can't not. It's kind of like an atheist, like like, a, yeah. like an open off an atheist. Like I think it's, it's is, like it's like bro, you believe in that shit, bro? Uh, well, okay, this is most like horoscopes and astrology are like I think women mostly are, are the majority of the people who consume this sort I, of like. I think ID, that's why because this idea, guy right? and so this, this guy's saying like women are dumb. This guy is most like of the time. often he's like at best misogyny adjacent. And yeah, I think that's Be my because if his like if, if he met some him. dude who he thought was fucking chill and this dude's like, oh, fuck, bro. You know what? Like my horoscope today said like that I was going to take I was going to take some risks. He might not freak out. No, at he makes fun of him. I, I think he's I think he's whack playlist because this person, whack playlist. this person becomes more miserable and causes more emotional harm than the person who's actually into astrology. I think being. I think being wildly into horoscopes, like extremely into horoscopes, and being an unopened and often horoscope hater are both whack. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That, you I know actually, what? And that could be said for a lot of these things here. If you're like a big hater and the opposite is you're, be, you're a big like proponent of it, you're two sides this of the This is like the outward, the outward religion edgy hater guy. It's kind of like that to me, where it's like, who fucking cares? Shut up. Sure. Yeah, I mean that. That's why I don't necessarily like this one because it's so specific. It's like kind of a dunk, like yep. a slam dunk. Like these are guys. I, in my head, these are guys who think being right is enough rite of passage to be mean. Yeah, this this is fine. Uh, whack playlist is fine. I agree. Photographer only girls in parentheses. This is I really this funny. In. This is guys who are they list their yeah. occupation as photographer, but they weirdly only ever shoot girls. It, it's jail time, bro. It's jail all day. I would love if we could put this guy in jail. Yeah. I, I think that a lot of these dudes <laughs> maybe haven't commit any crimes and like maybe haven't done anything sus, but like they're gonna eventually. <laughs> yeah. They're, it's, 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 like, why, it's like, why you, do you only you, shoot girls? Hey, if you love the art form so much, why not just take a picture of a guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you go or to their a, page. Or, or a mountain. Or, or a lamp. A landscape. Uh, yeah. Uh, and their whole portfolio is just girls. And it's like. And they're naked a lot, too. <laughs> and, they're, and it's like, what? It's like, I just think the human know, body's beautiful. And I know Shut they up. were cool with it. I know they were cool with being naked. And it's fine. It's and, just weird that there's so many. many. It's just, just take. There's a lot of things to take pictures of. <laughs> yeah, this is jail. It's and close think, to death penalty for me. Oh, that's right. okay. That's harsh. Next, next one. Uh, excited for his birthday, and then in parentheses is twenty seven. <laughs> this <laughs> this is kind of cringe. This is kind of cringe. cringe. It is kind of. I mean, cringe. of course, it's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. I think there was an episode I asked you guys this question. <laughs> I think I said like, is it cringe to be into your? I think yeah, no we one, talked about this. I think we no talked one about this. with me, so I think this is good because you guys think excited it's for his birthday cringe. is twenty seven. Kind of cringe. Yeah, move on. Yeah. easy one. That was an easy one. Conspiracy theorist. This is just your run of the mill. Everything's conspiracy. It's almost contrarian. You know, it's funny because these people used to be kind of fun, and now it's not. I, that's yeah. that's a good point. They used to be like, like I, well, how old are you when these my, people are kind of fun? I feel like when, I, when I was like a kid, when I was a teenager, yeah, exactly, my, my yeah. dad yeah. gave me this book about conspiracies. Uh, he just got a used bookstore, and it was one. I read this whole thing about like how Elvis's corpse was made of wax <laughs> and how he wasn't really I think dead. The conspiracy like theories theories. also used to be more fun and finding somebody who believed in it was just harder. Yeah, it was more fringe and more have, wild. They didn't have political power. Yeah, it was just like it was just fun little lore side quests. Like Elvis didn't die and it's like Wait, do you really believe that? It's like, yeah, here's why. Yeah, but when you're a 16-year-old boy, everyone's a conspiracy theorist. Like, yeah, like true. Like, all 16-year-old boys are conspiracy theorists. They're like, I don't know, bro. I feel like it's deeper than that, bro. But nowadays... Think, now it's fucking crazy. I think the 2023 conspiracy theorist adult is, at the very least, in jail. They might even be the death penalty. I mean... You're basically well, it's hard because you're like, a contrarian. You're basically a contrarian, but you're you're more. It's more. You're a contrarian literal. with significant consequence now. I think that's the problem. You participate in a movement that I think is inherently political now yeah, to some yeah. degree, and you have your your belief, your public belief in that thing has consequences in the real world. Unlike people 
who I think were subsect conspiracy theorists maybe like 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. I guess even even back then, if you thought the moon landing was fake, it was just really annoying to the people that went to the moon. And if you, <laughs> but the problem is, is like if you think the moon landing fake w- like, is fake now, you almost certainly like you believe the moon landing was fake, and you also believe that like Jewish people control the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that like y- your your brain people... is able to make wild jumps. So yeah, it, it's it's not just someone who like believes in ghosts. It's more than that. Yeah, uh, it's it's jail. yeah jail Put time. Them in jail. Okay, they deserve it. I love I love that we have one death penalty. <laughs> barefoot <laughs> or sandals. Only. Barefoot or sandals only. Always. Oh, harmless. Kind of kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. No. Don't yeah. subject everyone to your feet all the time. Yeah. Who cares? It's just feet. Overruled. Most people who do this do this in like tropical places too. It's like totally normal. Overruled. But but you know what? The people that do it in tropical like the people that move to colder climates still do it as some like weird point of pride is like wear fucking socks. Dude, if, yeah, if you live, if you live near the beach, fuck it, sure. This is like a barely. These are people. Okay, That's I'm most ta- people who do it though. This is people That's in America barefoot or sandals. No, I'm talking about the people who are barefoot or sandals only out of the context of where that's normal. I kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. Top top. Okay. Kind of cringe. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I don't care where the fuck it is. 90s rap fan. Oh, I, I put this one. It's a 90s rap fan. It's <laughs> rap so fan cringe. who only listens to 90s so, rap. I, I would argue whack rap has changed. You can't bro. even understand them now. Bro, yeah. the mumble shit, bro. I fucking hate that I, shit, bro. I think it's actually whack blood. Big L. Tupac. <laughs> Big pun. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> it's just not the same, dude. Uh... It was fucked up what they did to Easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the more I become this guy, the more I wanted to be lower on the list. But I think, I think he, they, no, he's they're just, fans of something that it, that's good. Yeah, yeah, and but but again, they're so. But it's their it's their outward sort of. Their they, intellectual well, uh, eyes yeah. about it. He's not it. worse than Coke guy. He's just <laughs> not. Oh uh, well, no. So whack playlist. Yeah, whack playlist. <laughs> All right, next one. You know what? Maybe we gave Where's Rasta Colors a bad rap. No, no. Public <laughs> complainer. Uh, I'm thinking about... Leffen. Uh, th- no, 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 no. Sorry. This is like in, in IRL when... Um, like, you're on an airplane. The pilot's like, hey, we're going to be taxing for like 30 minutes. Sorry, guys. And then someone in their seat's like, oh, come oh, on. Fuck. Whack playlist. No one likes this person. Yeah. But how much don't we like them? They're it's, not it's kind just of cringe. They're just whack. They're just, They're just whack. whack. Not yeah. jail time. No, I think most of these people, if you press them on it, they'd be like, "Yeah, I'm fucking being annoying. I'm be- sorry." Well, also, no, I would. I, I think these kind of people also like mean to like service workers. Yeah, they try to defend themselves you about know? it. I guess it's not jail. It's whack. It's whack. whack. I think it's sure. whack. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Courage, J- <laughs> courage, JD. <laughs> this is mine. I think he's Did harmless. You just put a person on here. I think he's yeah. harmless. I mean, he's a type of guy for sure. He's oh harmless. yeah. So what? So let's distill that. No, I. He puts ads on tweets. <laughs> That's a type of guy. What do you mean? Like, like he put, he'll post a video to Twitter of him like doing anything, but there's an ad, a pre roll ad, dude, which you can do on Twitter. Jail. You can apply pre roll ads prison, to Twitter videos. Prison yeah. time. And people who do that, you monetize Twitter. That's cringe. Prison. I'd argue it's his job. <laughs> So Not, no, but so Elon many. Elon Musk's job is to dude. Be- it's so many influencers' jobs, and they don't do the ad part. They just go. I don't need to put ads on. Twitter. I think it's harmless. You put ads on everything. Why does it matter? I'm does using matter? my one time. <laughs> You're using your one time <laughs> for what? Put courage, one JD in jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dumb. Move on. It's the one time. What are you gonna do? I like, uh, dude. Oh, okay. good at everything. Yeah, this is everyone Ooh. knows someone who's just good at everything. They touch. Where do we place these people? Wait, is this person? This person's good at everything, but they're not like they don't like talk about how they're. Yeah, good this at is like Dia. Yeah, it's, it's Dia's a great example. Dia's really good. Dia at chess, was like really at one melee. point one of the best Mars in SoCal. Also, pl- over two thousand rated in chess. Also, writes for the Onion. Yeah, also, also a stand good stand-up up. comedian. Like everything is like fuck you. Also, getting his I PhD. Think, I think they're kind of based because I, I respect them so much. They are, but also like. Do we hate them? No, I don't. I think it's kind of it's kind of base. It's kind of swag. I hate it. I'm mad. I, I well, that's hate a reflection that, of myself. I hate yeah. that. I think, it, but it's only it only feels bad to say it because it's like I wish I could be like that. Yeah, and they're kind of ba- and as long as they're not bragging about it, it's kind of based. 
Yeah. But it's if we like, put them all in jail, like, we'll be good at stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we kill them? If we kill Dia. Starting with Courage, who's good at everything. <laughs> He is. Ooh, yeah. I, I'm thinking about maybe using my one time for death penalty. Because <laughs> if we put everyone who's good at everything in, and kill them. Then we succeed. Then it's like, I'll be pretty good at a lot of shit. I like that. I'm using my one time. Let's, I like that. Let's kill I everyone. respect that so let's much. Let's kill everyone who's good at everything. Fuck them. Because like, you're not good because you worked hard. You just got like amazing genetics no, and like good learning abilities. No, they do work hard. No, they no, do no, 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 no. Your parents, they're lucky. Your parents just like put you in front of a piano when you were four. And, they, and, and, like, and you developed parts of your brain. And they're assholes. I hate this guy. How much would you suck a dick for? This oh is my me. God. This, this is, is me. This no, is like, you hate me? This is not you. This is different. This is not you. This is like, this is like you're driving in the car and they're like, yo, guys, hold on. And this is like the, cra- <laughs> and this is the craziest thing. It's yo, like, it's like, it's like dude, how, much, how much would you fucking suck a dick for, bro? Me, it's like, I don't even know if there's money. <laughs> dude, there's the, like 40 billion. Did you see the workaholics bit about this? It's what? like one of the episodes yeah. in the first season and, uh, and they do the same thing. It's like, how much money would you suck a man's oh, penis really for. Oh, it's really low, right? And, a- and Adam is like, like, nine, like, hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. And, and they just, they, the whole <laughs> episode. Like, Isn't it like, I could get nine hundred dollars now? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> and they like, and the Durs later on is like, they need like ten thousand dollars. He's like, well, you could just like suck eleven dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, Okay, so funny. this guy is the worst, because it's a, uh, he feels like it's safe homophobia. Like, he feels like yeah. he can do it safely and no one's going to be able to prove he's homophobic, but he obviously kind of is. Yeah, when, when like, it's, it, you're positing it as, like, it's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, right? it's like, Instead bro, of just something you don't really want to do. And their do. answer is always an amount of money they could never earn. Yeah. In their life, it's always, like, I don't know, like. <laughs> no, like, not me, bro. Like, like 50, co- a you billion. You have to pay me, like, a, bit, like a billion dollars. A billion bro. dollars. And, like, even that, I fucking hate it. Like, how long? Like, bro, like, how long? <laughs> it's that guy. And that guy. <laughs> I'd like to put that guy. Ooh, whack play, whack no, playlist. No, I think he's it's jail or death penalty. I think he's whack playlist. De- I mean, he's I think not that's death the penalty. most interesting question you can ask. That is the most value you bring to a conversation. He's not worse than a Rasta color guy. I take that guy in the car than a Rasta no. color guy. <laughs> no, he's worse. No, no, he's no, not. That was my one time. No, because deep down, I still enjoy the conversation. A bit. <laughs> yeah, deep down, he's still stimulating. Also, you. it's. I think it's such an insanely <laughs> funny question for me because yeah. I'm like, yeah, like I don't know. Not What's that, he look like? Like not that much. <laughs> yeah. 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 How much you got? <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe like if is depends, he nice? Depends if it like did he did he have a shower before? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I I think it's still at the end of the day a fun conversation, even if the guy who's positing it is stupid and annoying. Okay, you know what? But let me let me. This guy also next asks the question: How much would you fuck a fat chick for, bro? <laughs> oh, that's the same guy. Oh, no, I don't I don't know. Know. That's the I same guy. That guy the same that's guy. definitely the same, the same guy. guy. I can't believe it's the same guy. No. <laughs> I, we, we, just arbitrarily expanding. Uh, fine, fine. The Elon fan. We're in the, the Elon, Elon fan, fan oh. goes is in jail. Because jail or death penalty. Death, I think death penalty. I think if you are right now a diehard fan of Elon Musk and you're and you're so outward about it that I know about it, let's kill you. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're that fucking bad. Because you pretty much are the self titled intellectual. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but great. but you're but you're so painfully also not. And I'm glad we agree. How much would you suck Elon's dick for, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Not that much. That guy who's like, yes. I'll do whatever to make him happy, bro. <laughs> yeah, On Twitter. I that guy, yeah. All right, next one. We will uh, we'll say cancel culture in the next five minutes. Oh. You meet him and know, you know within five minutes he's going to say something about cancel whack culture. Playlist. Whack playlist. No, well... Uh, yeah, it's whack playlist. It's whack playlist. He, him and the in the would you suck a dick for guy get along. They're the same. Yeah, yeah, they get along. If, no, yeah. bro, like people are uh, no homo guy. It's, it's actually like, the same. Whack he, playlist. He goes like, yo, don't cancel me for this, but like, how much is I a dick for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're the same guy. <laughs> no homo guy is also whack playlist. This is they, they, it's the same. It's three guys in this, a car. This is Roy and for, for it, deep yeah, yard it's, listeners. It's Roy. Yeah. This is Roy where he's like, he's like. Bro, you're kind of cute. Yo, just no yo, homo though. Yo, I'm just kidding, pause. Dude. No pause. No pause. Yo, no pause, dude. Yeah, um, I'm just kidding, dude. I think Fuck. we should. I would put Roy in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I think if he did jail time, I'd be like, that's probably good. He probably learned something. <laughs> I think he's in jail. Yeah, I think. I think it's I think really these guys funny. are in jail. I think it's funny to put the no homo guy in jail. We should, I, you guys said sucking dick guys on. All right, anyways, I'm Wait, just saying. No homo guy goes in jail. Yeah. It's because yeah. it's less interesting, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just not even. Because how much would I suck a dick for you? Know? <laughs> uh, 
Wants to be a DJ and make zero <laughs> progress. <laughs> I love this guy. Because I've met so many of these guys. I, I've met a billion of these guys. Yeah, I just, have two. I mean, just, they're just kind of, they might even be harmless. No, it's, no they're not harmless. Because oh, don't we are they harmless? No. I think they're harmless. <laughs> I think they're harmless. No, they're so <laughs> This is my... No, no they're, they're, cringe. Cringe. They're, they're harmless. Cringe. They're cringe. Because the reason they want to become a DJ is to be the cool person at parties. Which is cringe. Oh, you're, ooh. you know, and that's they, the only they love reason. Being into music, yeah, ooh. it's really. But they put also, no effort into it. Ooh. Also, I, I, one time I saw a guy who <laughs> DJed really well, but he was also still really cringe. Yeah. So it's uh, like, what are you yeah. even going What's for? Go- oh, because it's also you're per- you're you're kind of you're kind of chasing like the lowest form of of musical performance. Yeah. You're playing, and you're not music. even putting in effort to get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're you're putting no effort into something that takes no effort. Yeah, because I think, <laughs> I think a lot of people fail. I think it's because I think there's this rare. I acknowledge that like DJing well is actually is a skill, but very few people that have the idea of becoming a DJ understand that, understand what they're doing, and just think that like they can play songs. And like stand at the front of a crowd, and that would be cool. This is kind of cringe. Yeah, this is kind of cringe. You're right. They're kind of cringe. They're not harmless. <laughs> and then they just become like guys that work in finance. Okay, every story starts with being high. I th- uh, so I th- every time they pull into their bag of stories, my and, and, and they're like, "Yo, this one time, so I'm, I'm fucking super fucked up. I'm really high." <laughs> and, and then they tell the story. It's every story. I think it's. I think it's harmless. <laughs> I think it's because it's because uh, it's almost funny. Yeah, I think this kind of person, I'm thinking of like, like I, guess, I guess this person could always have a funny story after that. Yeah, like, I think if they're just always are high, but they're still your boy. That's harmless. It's harmless. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. And, and they're almost weed personality guy, but they're not. But they're yeah, not. but they're not. Because they're not talking. They're it's just like Noel. Well. They're, like, they're only talking about drugs when it was an interesting moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, high when I did this crazy thing. Yeah. Like, okay. Noel, Noel is funny <laughs> without the weed. Okay, weed personality, jail. <sighs> jail? Yeah. It's worse yeah. than whack. At this point, because, like, okay, weed personality guys have been around so long that they're, they've been around long enough to be self-aware that weed personality guys exist. And if you're yeah. still a weed personality guy after knowing that, it's also remove you from the populace. It's just get you out. It's also just legal. Yeah. In it's so way, it's way less now. counterculture. It'd be like, it'd be like being... Imagine being alcohol guy in the way that weed guy is. Well, I think a lot of them are. That's what I'm that, like. Like the, your craft beer guy is just weed guy, but with beer. No, but he's not wearing craft beer socks. Oh yes, he is. Is he? I think he's that got cra- his Breckenridge Brewing shirt. <laughs> craft beer guy is a, is a little better. Because at least, like, I don't know, like, bre- brewing is kind of a method. Like it's a social, kind of like coffee. There's it's not a, just know, consuming. There's like a well, social just aspect consuming. to it, maybe. Or, 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 Weed guys are just like, bro, that sativa, though. I'm like more of a sativa Yeah, the, guy. the question is, are beer we, guys I think more cringe than weird guys? Weed guys always hell-bent on telling you, on telling you how, it's, how it's not addictive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, but I'm faded how as fuck. How it's actually, it's like not even bad for you. It's like no craft brewing guy is telling you that if you drink 10 of these, you're going to feel great the next day. <laughs> every, every single thing they enjoy, they have to be like, this with a blunt would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, man. Yeah, Put fucking, him in jail. I don't. Never I, talk to him again. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with putting him in jail. This is a good jail crew. I oh like this. Oh my God, yeah. All right. I think imagine, I'm, I'm imagining locking all these people in a room together. Worked his ass off to be here. Oh, I oh, hate man. this guy. Oh, we all know this guy. I hate this Wait, guy. Who bro. is this guy? Describe him. I. This is the guy who who has like a he he might be like a a grinder. He he might have a nice job. Like the recent example I can think of this is I I met a dude who was an engineer and he worked at a a famous. Let's, I'll just say a famous establishment. And we were talking. This is pull, your, pull, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Pull guy, yourself kinda. up by your bootstraps. Like, they can't I, not talk about the success. At one point in the conversation, I basically brought up that like I was like really lucky to get where I am. Like a lot of things lined up and circumstantial. And he was talking about how like how hard we both work to get where we are. And the guy who thinks that nothing in his life was given to him, even though Every like so much of his life is clearly built around circumstance and opportunity. I think often comes from like a 
a rich family who has like a high job and might have done like okay in school. But what if he did work his ass off to be here, but he's still about it? It's the it's same amount of cringe. It, it's cringe. You know? It's, it's it cringe doesn't change either way. Because I think yeah, there's no version. So it doesn't matter. There's no version of this. To talk about it is regardless cringe. of your background, I think this this is way more common to come from people who are trying to justify that th- they weren't helped. But. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, I think, they, it, but I think it's cringe either way, and it doesn't matter what their background is. Yeah, yeah is absolutely, absolutely. Is cringe cringe uh, category. Uh, so kind of cringe. I think this guy goes in whack playlist. No, I no. think at the end of the day, he's still working his ass off. I think a lot of them don't. That's the thing, though. Says I don't think females, they work that hard. Unironically, I mean, oh, this guy's just jail. Imme- probably jail. This is jail. That's just instant jail. This is insta jail. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's I, everybody on fresh and fit. Uh, incel death penalty should incels be punished with death or should they be reformed <sighs> well, they're not because they're like they're not, lost souls right i don't think is we're the literally modern, is it like the them. modern like most common oh, we're use killing them is it like the modern most common use of incel where it kind of covers like another pattern of behavior or is it just like the raw definition of incel <laughs> it's not the raw <laughs> definition of incel meaning you can't get laid it's more of this cultural idea this cultural movement of like just really lost fucking dudes that like have insanely low self-esteem and think their self-worth is like through having sex and it, it's like i you're like they deserve because the, there's kind of like the, the jail. old <laughs> like traditional like core core idea of inceldom and then there's like the new wave incel stuff that is like i think like andrew tate adjacent jail, jail feels fair jail does feel fair because you can reforming them would be nice but like someone who uh is like a fan of Elon Musk. I don't want to reform you. I just want you dead. Yeah, you should. I just want you to die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Furries are harmless. No. Yeah. They're homies. I think these I've I've no, moved I've no. moved I've my needle has moved on this. I think furries are are kind of based. They, they're oh, they're extremely based. I would say they're the homie. I actually agree with kind of based. I think that they're harmless as a baseline. I think people who think like furries are harmful are wrong. I think a lot of them are kind of based. It's like, damn, you're a wolf right now. Yeah, that's crazy. They're, they're, they also based. they have a strong they sense are, of community. They're not inherently the homie for being a furry, though. <sighs> Fine, they're going I home. Use my they're one going time, home, so. and they're fucking. They're fucking. I don't know what they're doing. I don't want to assume what furries are doing, but all right, fantasy footballer. Uh, I don't give a shit about fantasy football. I think it's ultimately harmless, but I think it's harmless. I definitely I have a low. Uh, it's the very bottom, though. It's with sneakerheads. Yeah, I definitely have a low bandwidth. Like, if I gotta keep hearing about it, I'm gonna start calling them cringe. You know, triple uh, A gamer. I th- I think they're. I this think it's just, jail. I think it's jail time. Wait, they, you think triple A gamers yeah. deserve jail yeah, time? Yeah, because they're the same as all these people. Dead ass. I was just look. They're the same. They're all the same. <laughs> Every person, every per- one of these people are AAA gamers in jail category. Think about it. Coke They're not just whack. A AAA gamer. I don't think AAA gamer goes in whack. I think I think if you only play AAA games, did you use your one time already? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I haven't used one. I haven't used one. You haven't used yours. But AAA gamer is kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe or whack playlist. If you only play AAA games, whack playlist. That's all you play. For no. sure, a whack playlist, not kind of cringe. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's a whole world out there, and you're just eating the fucking the the sloppy sheen of gunmetal that is AAA games. You know what I'm saying? Wrangler, that's the homie. Wrangler's clearly the homie. That's the homie. I think he's the homie. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, we only have one. <laughs> Dude, that is so funny. Wait. <laughs> Well, that about does it. I really you like know what, you know what I think this is. Wait, I think we, that, can you think of a guy who's on this list? I can't. I can. I literally can't. And Wrangler is kind of like his own species. That's why <laughs> I put him down. Yeah. That's why I thought of it. I was like, I don't know anybody else like Wrangler. Yeah, I, I don't either. Wrangler once gave Aiden for Christmas $25 in pennies. That is still in my <laughs> trunk. I have it in my trunk because I don't know what to do. It's yeah. really heavy. Yeah, he sent uh, Anthony a video of him shooting himself in the cock, and it was a full nude video. Yeah, it, was, and it, was, it was as a joke. He just sent it to him. Well, yeah, he wanted me to critique it. That's, <laughs> that's the homie. It was solicited, by the way. All right, we guys. We talked about it. This is our list of everyone you'll, every dude you will this ever is, meet ever. This is all the people, all the guys. Yeah, this all is the all guys. the guys And ever. just wait until we do all the women. 
<laughs> That'll be a fun. Wait till we do all the females you'll ever meet. Yeah. Yo, Femoid <laughs> only tier list coming soon. What? Well, this was the longest episode of the yard I think we've ever done without Ludwig by chance because we we started doing a tier list of guys. There's a we, lot of dudes, and we put too many on the list, and we just put too many. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Ludwig will be back next week. Uh, I wonder if he'll be like he'll be like you guys went too fucking long. No one's gonna fucking watch that. Like I could do. I could do a tearless video of like that was fucking eleven minutes. Like, I wonder if he, th- he thinks this is really stupid. I think at the at the top of next episode, he just reads. He wa- goes through it really quick. We don't like spend a lot of time on it. But on top of next episode, he just looks at it. He's like, "What? Why is this guy here?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I what I uh, I was just more thinking of like what he thinks of like like. It Ludwig being would say so this long. is bad content. Yeah, which is why I'm happy he wasn't here. We get to experiment for yeah, once. Yeah, we get to experiment yeah. on our little we show. Get a little I think people will like the first half of this episode. It was. It was <laughs> a- <laughs> Look, it was a tough week. A lot of shit was going on, so we tried. We we're doing a weird, different episode. Yeah. Well, we, we're also doing a primo, so we'll see you. Uh, see, see you in the you, Patreon. See yeah, you in the Patreon. This, if this is the first episode you've watched, we do more. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is not normal. <laughs> so uh, enjoy it. If you didn't like this one, watch at least one more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll put the the tier list in the Discord so you can make your own. I think it's easy. It'd be way faster to do it on your own. Yep. Uh, all right, everyone. Goodbye now. All right. Bye.